you might consider calling the cops on the intruder trespassing on your property at night. But when it turns out to be this woman, maybe you should call a ghost hunter instead. Posted to Twitter by Daniela Guerrero, she writes in Spanish, Okay, my parents have a security company, and how about the officials of a condominium have just passed them a heavy video of what happened last night. The video shows a large yard with a small pool. In the distance, a woman dressed in white crosses the property. She has dark hair and moves steadily forward until she's closer to the camera. She strides across, clearly on a mission, and that mission is to evaporate in plain sight. The phantom trespasser disappears into the night as she rounds a corner. What does she want here, and where did she go? All questions and no answers. Perhaps that's what we're supposed to have. Isaiah Harris published his sewer exploration in March of 2018, describing it as the utter most scariest video that I've ever recorded yet. He went on to say, I think it was mostly because of the position I was in and how much ghostly things I heard and seen. The first clip shows Harris along with two young accomplices exploring the underground sewer during the daytime. They make their way along a tunnel to an area with pooled water, which has frozen over with ice. In a second video of the sewer exploration, Harris, joined this time by his brother and sister-in-law, shows how they enter the sewer by lifting up a big iron storm grate and crawling under. The tunnel is filled with graffiti, and they jump down from this initial tunnel to a broader area. A ladder is also positioned there, suggesting that this area is a regular stomping ground for exploration. They continue on, and Harris explains to his crew that there will soon be a ditch with shin-deep water, and there may be a den beyond, as he found evidence of people living there once before. The ditch area is filled with ice and a layer of snow over top. Harris jumps down, breaking through the ice. The other two decide to turn back because they think they've heard something in the tunnel. But that's when Harris looks deep into the tunnel beyond and decides that he too wants to hightail it out of there. After he claims to have seen something down there, they start to make their way back, but pause when they hear a growling sound. Harris also notes that there's a handprint on the wall as they arrive at the exit ladder. They also hear tapping sounds coming from within the tunnel. They manage to make it out of the tunnel without incident, but one does wonder whether the creature within was human or monster. This house guest is Eternal. Published by Jojo Owens in February of 2022, Jojo explains that he, his wife, and several guests in his home had witnessed a shadow-like movement in the living room out of the corner of their eyes. That's why when Owens heard a noise in the back room one night while his wife was sleeping, he set up his phone camera to record. This is what he captured. A tall shadowy figure is seen moving across the lit doorway at the end of the room. After witnessing this, Owens grabbed his phone camera to investigate, but turned up nothing. Neither was there anything in the room that might cast this shadow. Although one commenter suggested that there may be someone squatting in the Owens' home, Owens said this has been going on for three years, so it's highly unlikely. To whom does this shadow belong then? A paranormal investigator who goes by Bakersfield Paranormal Services sadly lost his mother and is filled with grief. Even though he is very distraught, he wants to communicate with her. He goes to the cemetery with his equipment and approaches his mother's marker. At first, he asks some basic questions and has her respond by playing with the lights. Are you always around me and my, my wife and my kids? Thank you. Emotions there, Mom. Do you love my wife? Okay, I got it. I, I got it. After a while, he pulls out what he calls a ghost box which supposedly allows his mother to communicate using various radio frequencies. He believes other spirits are crowding around the box and keeping his mom from communicating. Mom, can you please speak to me? You're trying to? He thinks she says, I'm trying to, but I think it kind of sounds like she might be saying, I love you. 
listen to it again, and let me know what you hear during this part. Smoke wafted through the Yellow Line train on January 12, 2015. While it filled the train, commuters waited over 35 minutes for help to escape. The cause is believed to have been an electrical issue in the tunnel. When the issue occurred, it forced commuters on the platform to evacuate. That's when train 302 pulled towards the platform and took off again. But it was so thick the train operator was blinded. He pulled to a stop in the tunnel. The train's fans were pulling smoke inside, and firefighters were only dispatched when they received a 911 call about seven minutes later. Meanwhile, the passengers on the train could barely breathe and many got down on the floor. In the raw video of the train, you can see just how bad it is inside the wagon, and you can hear people cough, while most lie or squat on the floor. Over the intercom, they are told to remain calm and not to open the doors. Some called 911 to describe where the train was located so that rescuers could be sent down. Out of the 380 people who were evacuated from the train, 86 were treated, 9 were treated outside the station, and 1 passed away. A strange and mysterious sighting on a doorbell cam has left this Los Angeles resident frightened. Their 5 a.m. visitor is seen through and at times straight up invisible. Plus, listen to how the audio skips when it passes by. Since paranormal energy is known to make cameras malfunction, I think this could be a real ghost sighting video. This faded family footage goes from heartwarming to horrifying when you realize what this father has done to become a wanted man with a $100,000 reward on his head. According to the FBI, this man extinguished his entire family, wife included, and then created a gas leak in the home. He lit a candle and the house went up in an instant to cover his tracks. This was back in 2001 and no traces of him have been uncovered. He is still on the top 10 most wanted list just in case. What would you do if a poltergeist became more and more aggressive? Published by D-Dog Michael in January of 2022, this scary video follows this paranormal explorer through an abandoned building. Michael first encounters some unsettling sounds like bottles trembling. He thinks it's just the wind at first, but the sound becomes louder and more aggressive. This makes him run back downstairs. As they continue to explore, a window panel slides open, and later he hears regular banging noises in the hallway. When he goes to investigate, the banging noises get louder and more frequent. As he approaches a door, he asks the spirit if he can go in and look around, but the spirit seems to answer in the negative. <laughs> He runs off but returns to the same door, and as he's reaching toward the knob, he hears something inside. Finally, inside the room, there doesn't appear to be anyone around, but he hears another sound. Out in the hallway again, he reaches for a second door, and a loud noise is heard behind him. Later, he is in a dark bathroom when chaos again breaks out behind him. He continues into a bedroom, and then he sees this shape in the window. Michael decides it's time to leave this place before whatever haunts it won't let him go. A YouTuber named Crossover likes to play basketball, but we all know that's not why he's on this list. 
He lives in a house on the edge of some woods that are known to be haunted. At least if you believe what's about to happen to him next. Crossover goes inside of his dad's workshop to talk more about his plans for the channel. You know, I have had channels in the past, but you know, I kind of scrapped them. They were, they were a little bit weird, and I don't even know what. Was going and behind him. One of his dad's tools rolls off the shelf. Crossover wonders how the object moves all by itself. And a scary voice tells Crossover to come back as soon as he goes off camera. He thinks this is a ghost EVP because he says he was in the workshop alone. However, the voice could have been edited and someone could have been hiding under the shelf to make the object look like it was pushed by a ghost. A quarrel with a poltergeist has only one outcome. You lose. Published by Scary Desk in September of 2021, the computer shop owner is battling for his life. The man is seen on an upper balcony of his shop at night. It sounds like it's raining. He puts his hood on and heads back toward his shop, but the minute he steps toward the door, he is thrown onto his back, falling onto the ground. You see he appears to have been pushed by a shadowy force. A young man runs to his aid from an adjacent office. As the man points in fear, what did he see? The young man looks inside but finds nothing. He then helps the owner limp to safety. What did this to this poor man? And is it the end of it? Or is it just the beginning? When you head into the middle of nowhere in search of a cave, you certainly aren't looking to meet strangers. YouTuber Lil Goofy says that whenever he goes to this place, nobody is there. Not this time. He published this video of the incident in July of 2019 writing, I brought a friend to see a rare cave in our local mountains that hardly anyone goes to. On our way up through a trail that leads to the caves, a stranger came out and waves at us. Then he pulled out what looked to be a big blade. So me and my friend ran since we didn't have any protection nor cell phones. In the video, the stranger is pointed out at a distance. He's dressed in black, and the YouTuber notes that his hands are behind his back. When the pair realize that the man has a blade, they hightail it out of there as fast as they can. As they slow to a stop, realizing they both left their phones in the car, the stranger rounds the corner, and they run off again, taking a left fork in the trail and wondering if the stranger knows the trail better than they do. After a while, they watch for their pursuer and catch him on video running up the trail. Finally, they make it back to their car in one piece. What were this man's intentions? Evil or not, this looked like it wouldn't have ended well. Matt Petrez thinks this dark and empty hotel elevator looks strange, but he doesn't want to take the stairwell so he gets on anyway. It's a long and creepy ride in total darkness that does not end well. Matt knows he has made a mistake as soon as the door is shut, but it's too late to do anything other than stare at the numeric red panel as it counts down the floors. Then on the fifth floor this happens. Matt claims the elevator stopped moving and he was stuck for a long time. I guess he could have just covered the camera with his hand and made the story up, or maybe something bad really did happen on the fifth floor to cause this potentially paranormal elevator ride. This strange anomaly was discovered on CCTV outside the workplace of Redditor, Phantom 881999's father at around midnight. The Redditor thinks it's an artifact, but those in the comments have other ideas.
While it does look incredibly disturbing, I agree that the spottiness is due to video compression or a camera glitch. It is likely two people walking, one in black and one in white. The figure in white may be using a cane, but all things considered, I wouldn't rule out the idea of a three-legged demon. What happens when your shop vandals turn out to be paranormal? This security footage was published in April of 2010 by Old Phantom 13. He writes, We had been having problems with people breaking into and vandalizing our shop, or so we thought, so we set up several security cameras. This is what one of our cameras picked up. If you watch closely at the beginning, you'll be able to see what we believe is some type of spirit or ghost. The video shows lockers inside the shop slamming closed, one after another. Then, repeated slamming noises are heard off screen. A wheelchair in the middle of the room rolls slowly from one side to the other. What do you think? Are these ghosts into vandalism? Or is this another video of strings, like some in the comments suggest? It certainly looks convincing when I look at it. Don't leave your fun up to an app. It might take you on a journey to your demise. Published to TikTok by Stephen Donovan, he explains that he was using the Randonautica app to direct him on a random adventure. For those who are unfamiliar with Randonautica, the app delivers a set of local coordinates supplied by a quantum random number generator. In doing so, users are encouraged to explore the unexpected. Steven's coordinates certainly delivered. Here's what happened. Randonautica sent these two on a dirt road through an abandoned ghost town. Creepy mannequins are standing in the windows of the empty wooden buildings. The mountain roads take them past empty cars parked on the shoulder. However, no one appears to be in the area. They pass a sign that reads private property, but they ignore it and continue up the steep, narrow road. It's getting dark and they are now on foot. The pin is pulled up and they are getting close to their destination. That's when they see it. We had the pin pulled up. We were so close to it. Dude, and this what happened. The how to explain this. Something rolls down the hill from a broken structure, and in that structure, they see what looks like a melted face. They take this as their cue to leave. TikToker Rachel Chun surmises, Watch those cars be the ones left behind by the random knots that never left. Steven notes that he deleted the app after this misadventure. After this, can you blame him? Everyone wants to feel safe and alone in their own home. What happens when you find out you're not? Posted to YouTube in June of 2019, the YouTuber writes, Man finds creature in ceiling crawl space that apparently laughs at him. The man in the video explains that he's not a believer in the supernatural. He's a skeptic, but sitting alone on the couch in his home that day, he started hearing a noise coming from the roof or the ceiling. He said he could hear it in the light in his living room, so he decided to investigate. In a closet in his home, there's a small hole, big enough to stick a camera through, but it doesn't look quite large enough for a normal sized human to squeeze through. When he does get his camera up there, you can see your normal everyday attic crawl space, but over in the corner, in the darkness are two large orbs, a pair of eyes. He sticks the camera back up there, and the eyes appear for a second again, before blinking closed. As he asks the creature what it is, expecting a response from what looks to be an animal, a child or a toy's doll laughter rings through the darkness. Is Chucky in this man's attic, or does that raccoon simply have a very strange cold? The squirrel? Raccoon? Oh, we're closing the eyes. Oh, oh my god! One thing's for sure, you don't want to hear that laughter coming from anywhere in your home. Most people have home surveillance cameras installed for a security measure, just in case somebody attempts to break into their house late at night or an unwanted visitor shows up. But Helen Brookshaw's home surveillance camera captured something much more terrifying than a burglar. It captured an unwanted visitor, but not the kind you'd think or hope for. Focus your 
attention on the upper left side here. So let's count one, two, three ghostly figures here. Not just one, not just two, but three in total. And they just seem to be moving in unison, sort of just back and forth in this circle here. And to add to this, it also looks like this happens at a graveyard because these appear to be tombstones. The people who own this surveillance system must live beside a graveyard. And that makes sense because the title of this video is Ghost on My CCTV in Graveyard Next Door. So the fact that not only did they capture three paranormal presences on camera, but the fact that this also happens at a graveyard, I think just adds to how bizarre and creepy of a situation this is. I can't even begin to imagine how creepy it would be to have your home so close to a nearby cemetery or graveyard, but that seems to be the case for Helen. What gives this video even more credibility is exactly that. The footage is filmed in a graveyard, which is obviously going to be populated with ghosts and paranormal entities. And in this particular video, it seems like there are at least three or maybe four of them moving around in a strange, almost glitchy manner. Who knows? Maybe these are the spirits of passed away people going to pay their other family members a visit. A live streamer named Spetsnaz Boss suspects his house could be haunted. After catching this moment on his channel, he is fully engrossed in the game when the clothing on his door lifts up for no reason at all. This looks not good. Please, I don't want to go. Please. The sleeve of his jacket raises in the air, as if to say hi to all of his fans watching. There could be a chance this is staged, especially considering he is coincidentally playing a scary horror game. But maybe his fear is precisely what attracted it. If you heard this sound in the middle of nowhere, what would you do? Instagram account Cryptid University posts this video taken at a borrowed cabin in the middle of the forest. Listen closely. I don't know about you, but I got absolute chills from this audio. Listen again. Is this a skinwalker? I think it might be. And if so, it's actually closer than we think. This recent video of an unidentified flying device was sighted in New Mexico. It looks like a disc-shaped object until one of the lights breaks away. What the Then they all briefly flicker out before lighting back up in a new formation. Is this some kind of special military flare exercise or what? I think I'm gonna go with what, and by what, I mean extraterrestrial life. A bizarre video with little context has left people speculating what creepy things are happening here. At first, this looks like a woman going about her day, but rumor is that she is walking around taking things that could belong to the man on the bed, and that he might even be incapacitated in some way, helpless to do anything but watch Frozen. I think there might be something to this because she grabs a device at 1 minute and 23 seconds, and then an identical device at 1 minute and 40 seconds, while possibly looking for cameras. Was all this stuff hers or not? Since these are rumors and speculation, we'll never know for sure. According to YouTuber Gankwapi, this abandoned house has a horrific history. It's near the end of their investigation that they encounter this spirit. If you look a little closer, you can see a figure lurking in the darkness. Look to the right. It 
Is that the old man spirit, stranded to haunt this evil house for eternity? I suspect it just might be, although I could also see it being the life taker's demon, jailed forever in this purgatory on earth. Driving in the Himalayas can be beautiful, unless you're opposite an angry driver. Published by Extreme Out in July of 2016, this driver was descending the dangerous Rotang Pass from Manali to Leh when he crossed paths with a heavy truck moving in the opposite direction. The driver notes that everyone should be patient in such conditions because impatience can lead to lives lost. They didn't find patience in this truck driver, though. The man writes that he dipped his lights on the narrow mountain road to indicate that the truck and car ahead should stop and let him pass if they had a wider road. The truck did not signal back but the car indicated that there was space to cross and so he should move forward. After moving to the side, the car passes easily but the truck is taking its time, which is understandable as you can see how bumpy the terrain is. However, it became clear that the truck driver apparently wasn't going to pass at all. After sitting for a moment, the uploader starts to reverse to give the truck a wider berth and instead the truck drives right at him. He raises his hand for the truck driver to stop and then continues to back up on the dangerous road, which he notes is not easy. Again, instead of passing, the truck is directed at him. The game continues for a time until finally the truck passes. They stopped him to argue, wondering why he acted the way he did. Was it a threat out of spite, or did he really not have room to pass? From this angle, we will never know. Did you ever think maybe your child or younger sibling is possessed? This video was posted to Reddit with the title. No idea if this was the monitor or the kid is possessed. The video shows the demon baby standing at his crib, his eyes glowing red, a common occurrence in baby monitors. But it's the way he starts moving around that has the Redditor wondering if it's possession. The baby starts swaying back and forth rapidly before he holds very still and then turns his head all the way around unexpectedly. He then rests his head on the crib edge before sinking back down, hanging there, simply staring at the monitor. Other Redditors attempted to explain the possession. Jackal449 suggests footage lag from motion. Otherwise, most arrive at a general consensus that this is normal baby behavior. What do you think, normal or not? Whether normal or abnormal, seeing this in your baby monitor would be sure to creep you out, maybe even enough to make you scream. Two friends are creeping around a forest in Granada, Spain when they stumble upon something they were never meant to see. The humanoid is likely hunched over its prey as the two approach. They accidentally make a noise and the humanoid's keen ears detect them instantly. It looks up from his meal, ready to attack. You can see that this creature is thin and bony. It looks skinny and sunken in, fast with a high metabolism. Its reaction time seems way too quick for any ordinary person. This scary video clip captured not just one misty spirit miraculously floating atop the water, but a second emerging from below. Posted to TikTok by Horror Talk, the apparition gracefully glides on the water's surface, only for his brother's head to appear materializing from the same point in the water. It grows upwards, but we're left to wonder where the pair of spirits wandered off to and from where they came. Some in the comments think this is a weather balloon. Others say it's La Llorona, the weeping woman who roams the waterfront. What do you think it could be? A postal worker is moving some mail around an office building and summons an elevator. There's an overhead light in the third camera that flickers from the very beginning of the video onwards, which may or may not be an indication of something paranormal. Notice how this electrical disturbance briefly spreads to the elevator as soon as the doors open. So far this could just be a technical malfunction, but that doesn't explain what happens next. Watch as the papers start fluttering on their own despair there, being no possible draft inside of the cramped space. I can't help but notice how the papers stop fluttering every time he looks over, only to resume again when he stops paying attention. It definitely looks paranormal to me. Again, the lights flicker on and off as soon as the doors open, almost as if a paranormal entity is getting on and off the elevator with him. 
He notices that the lights are flashing an awful lot down here, but he chooses to ignore it and keeps moving. A short while later, this phantom businessman partially emerges from a realm beyond our own. I have trouble believing this part is not computer generated effects, but that doesn't necessarily mean the whole video is fake. Maybe everything up to this part was real, and someone added in this final scare at the end. Or worse still, maybe I'm wrong and this ghost really was behind him. This underwater video was shot abroad the EV Nautilus, a famous research vessel owned by the same person who found the sunken Titanic. Little does the crew know they are moments away from yet another mystifying discovery, this time in the Gulf Coast of Mexico. Off in the distance, they spy a giant creature coming at them fast. You can hear both surprise and fear in their voice as they order the captain to retreat. What? Or it could be fishing line. You don't want that. Back up. Back up. Huge siphonophore. It could be. Yeah. What looks like a long, floating rope of intestine is actually a creature known only as a siphonophore. I'm not sure if it is being carried by the currents or moving on its own, but at one point it does come close to the team and almost seems to demonstrate a limited degree of curiosity as it hovers nearby. If you think this particular specimen is large, they can actually grow to be hundreds of feet long. Saphinophores are carnivores, but thankfully for us humans, this one seems to prefer the bottom of the ocean floor, far away from where we tend to swim. A social security office is a pretty strange building to be haunted, but a YouTuber named Joshua Bragg is convinced. After capturing two of the scariest moments on CCTV video that he still cannot explain. Back up a little bit, there it goes, down here in the corner. It's not a bug, people. I don't know what this is. I always know that there's a ghost in this place. So creepy. I was thinking this dark, orb-like figure was an insect, except here's the thing. Joshua has seen the same figure before on a different security camera, in a different room, on a different night. Last time, it went out the back entrance and walked across the parking lot in a straight line. Right here. That is no bug. That is no bug. I think he's right because an insect walking across should look like a solid black shape. Whatever this is looks translucent and is therefore most likely something paranormal. This reportedly leaked video appears to be taken in a desert somewhere on the outskirts of civilization. Two scientists in full biohazard gear examine a colossal footprint that's been left behind by what appears to be some type of giant creature. I think this video is likely not real because there appears to only be one footprint and no others nearby. If there was a series of footprints stretching beyond the horizon, I would be more inclined to believe it's real, otherwise they could have easily dug a hole in the shape of a monstrous footprint. A TikToker named Mark Anthony catches this strange activity at a post office after hours. Some kind of hanging display swings all by itself while an identical display stays still. I think it could just be blowing under an AC vent, but then again, in the very beginning you can see all of the other wall displays in the other doors stay still, so it is weird that out of all of these, only one moves. <laughs> A weird security video from southeastern Nigeria has been freaking people out since October of 2019. Animals seem to disappear in this haunted alleyway, and then it happens to someone who they've long suspected of being a witch. I think these security guards were bored and playing a joke. Notice how the yellow playback bar suddenly skips ahead whenever something disappears. It's pretty obvious that some editing has occurred. So my final analysis is no, this video is not real. What do you think though? TikToker KC Rav is not home alone. The security footage captured something super creepy near the stairway leading upstairs. Watch the dark corner.
A large figure appears to peek out from beneath in the darkness. From the TikToker's description of the video, it sounds like the dark corner is another stairway leading down to another level of the home. Let's take a closer look. What is that? It definitely looks like a person to me. Another mysterious aspect of this video is the movement in the reflection to the left. I'm not sure if that's glass or a mirror, but something is moving and flickering past and then disappears. Are these two mysteries related? Whatever is going on here, if that isn't a ghost, it's an intruder. Either way, I think she should leave. A YouTube channel called Rick Now TV posted this while traveling across the European countryside. He is recording a dreary meadow from a train when he spots an oversized figure standing at a distance in the fog. The fog creature looks like a silhouette and is gone within the short time it takes him to zoom in and refocus, but in the instant it's there. You can see that it is about the same height as a nearby tree and large well. Rick Now TV suspects that this is a ghost, but perhaps it's further evidence of Slenderman, the elusive tall and dark creature who is said to be able to change its shape, size, and appearance at will. The self-proclaimed Turkish adventurer Mr. Hearth goes on a paranormal exploration of a well-known and powerful jinn who is said to be able to take many forms at will, human and otherwise, or sometimes no form at all. The invisible jinn opens windows and moves wherever it pleases. When the ghost hunter follows, he sees this at the window. With a hideous hiss comes a mysterious figure in the corner, a boy with a curved tongue and dreary eyes, eyes of the supernatural, the gaze of the jinn. Then the eyes close and the figure is mysteriously gone. Would you have a cup of tea with the devil in his house? YouTube team Kaza Supernatural head to the devil's house to investigate, and inside a cupboard they find an animal's foot. <laughs> They hear the cupboard shake. Later, as they're talking, it moves abruptly again. Is the devil at home? I wouldn't stick around to find out. This video comes from a YouTuber named Kusun2. He's a college student with an original Xbox that has a very strange and unexplainable problem. Every time he is hanging out by himself, his console likes to turn itself on. This happens so often that Kusun2 decides to record it for evidence. The only problem is that this Xbox appears to be camera shy. He'll stare and stare at it and it won't do a thing. It only seems to turn on when he is doing something else, almost as if it's trying to distract him. Even now as he films his Xbox and explains his story, it refuses to turn on by itself and makes him look like a fool. After talking for about 5 minutes, Kusun2 finally decides to test his theory and leaves the room. The Xbox does nothing for a long time, but then...
Keep in mind that there's no way to turn on an original Xbox remotely, and he always keeps his controller neatly wrapped up on the top of the system, so he can't be using a controller that's out of sight. On top of that, things have been regularly disappearing and reappearing on their own, and now Kusan 2 is extremely creeped out about being alone. The security camera footage taken from inside a Reddit user's home doesn't seem to be anything unusual, that is, not at first, although the house looks as peaceful and as quiet as can be, in just a matter of seconds, something both eerily mysterious and also quite creepy occurs that the original uploader cannot explain. So I think this is, for starters, what they're talking about. It doesn't exactly look like an orb, but it's kind of got like a trail that it's leaving behind. What the heck is that? That is so weird. It's just sort of leaving behind a trail of itself. You kind of just see it's like it's the same shape just sort of over and over again, leaving a trail behind it as it flies across the screen. And then at the very end, just sort of completely drops to the ground. Even though this kind of video could probably be described as a little more unsettling than straight up scary, it is definitely not the kind of footage you would want to find on your security camera upon waking up and reviewing whatever was filmed while you were asleep. The strange floating white object almost looks like it could be some sort of spinning battery powered toy, but I feel like if that were the case, the parents would ask their kid if it was their toy and the mystery would be solved, but since the uploader is still baffled by the footage, I think it's safe to say that it was not a toy, whatever it is remains a mystery. When you experience regular poltergeist activity in your home, monitoring it becomes top priority. YouTuber Donnie Drunkard shares this VR 360 video from a GoPro Max of his home's demonic activity. You can hear faint knocks or footsteps repeatedly. More unexplained sounds unfold. Not long after, there's a major smashing noise, followed by REM pod activity. You can also hear faint voices at this point, maybe from a TV turning on. Not long after, this happens. And again, it sounds like the TV has been turned on or someone is speaking. The voice comes and goes throughout the remainder of the clip, but turning 360, you can't see anything on. And lastly, the spirits play a short tune. This video is particularly unsettling to me because you can see all four corners of the room at any time, so you know nobody is pulling the strings. I'm convinced that Donnie's house is haunted, and considering the noises, the demon doesn't sound friendly. A number of scary viral Russian 3AM videos uploaded by Rostelman has everyone spooked, including himself. He wants someone to explain this mysterious event. He keeps going through night after night, so let's help him out. This window is taking some serious punishment from an unseen force and at times sounds ready to break. One night, he can take it no more and makes one crucial mistake. He 
He invites it inside. I myself would probably get reinforced steel bars installed on that window before opening it, but I guess he was trying to get a better look at whatever it was, and before you say he should have gone outside to see what it was, keep in mind it's late at night and freezing cold in Russia, so I wouldn't be in a hurry to confront this paranormal entity either. A mysterious shadow creature sighting was recently caught on dashcam in Falmouth, Maine. That's worth further investigation. The all black shape darts in front of the vehicle in a split second and then it's gone. seemingly moving faster than any animal should be able to. I'm at a loss as to what could this bizarre sighting possibly be, but I'm guessing it's either a wildcat, a paranormal mist, or something completely different. I wouldn't be surprised if that stretch of road is haunted, so I'll be on the lookout for more shadow figure videos in this area. A YouTuber named Ruin Road wants to explore the old remains of the Hutchins Intermediate School in Detroit, Michigan, so he climbs through one of the blown out windows and rummages all around. He is getting some artistic shots of various angles and landscapes when he notices somebody is posted by a fence a few hundred feet away. Something feels off about the man, but he ignores it and keeps exploring. Some more time passes and Ruin Road eventually forgets all about the strange man, but then a noise in the next room swings him around. Ruin Road senses someone is coming for him and quickly gets out of the building fast. He later concludes that the person outside was serving as a lookout and that other people were coming into the building to jump him. I think there is a good possibility that this is true, but then again maybe they were just some fellow urban explorers, or maybe he was being paranoid and there was no one around at all. With that said, I have in good fact heard about people getting robbed in abandoned buildings around Detroit so I think it's good that he didn't stick around to find out. A woman is approached by a stranger in a store and they talk for a few moments. She thinks it's kind of strange, so she watches where he goes, only to find the man is now standing by her bike. I, uh, I don't know, and then he just walked over to my bike. They talk about the bike for a while, but the conversation is really awkward. I don't know what he says here, so tell me what you hear him say in response to this question. Are you riding, are you riding it today? Not right now. No, not right. with my wife. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not sure if I heard him right, but I think he says that he just came from the dentist and is feeling fuzzy, so I guess this means they numbed him and maybe gave him something strong, which could explain the general weirdness to begin with. You can tell she's trying to steer the conversation to a close, but he doesn't seem to take the hint and it's about to get even weirder. All right, I was just, uh, I, you had asked me, you know, what I was riding, so I came out just to... Uh, I saw you walk in with a helmet and a jacket. Yeah. yeah right. He doesn't give her a chance to say no before he's on the bike to see how it feels. Perfectly. Yep. You don't mind. Uh, no, just don't drop it, please, all right? Maybe this is a biker thing that I don't understand, but this seems about as creepy as if somebody wanted to get inside of my car to see how the interior feels. Let me know if you ride a bike how you would feel about this stranger encounter. Eventually, she has to excuse herself, but it's weird how he's still looking intently at her bike. Alright, alright, so nice meeting you, nice talking with you. 
She eventually walks away, and even though he walks with her, tell me if you think he was making friendly conversation or up to something because I don't know what was on his mind. Parents may especially have trouble watching this dash cam video from Toronto. This father with a baby stroller is about to have the scariest encounter a father could ever experience. He's getting his kid out from some snow when a thoughtless driver goes through a red light and almost takes them both out. The car has some flashing lights on the back, so it could have been an emergency and might explain why they were going so fast. Still, had he been pushing the baby stroller in front of him, this would have been a much different video. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. After setting up a camera in her home, YouTuber Kathy Nito turns out the light, and what comes after just might be a ghost. Watch for the white thing once Kathy is distracted. Do you see that? Kathy believes this is a ghost. Well, I don't think it's a bug, as it appears to be too large and chaotic to be an insect. I'm not sure if my first thought would jump to the paranormal. It looks more like a spider web or some other flying debris to me. Still, whatever it is, it's creepy. Do you have any ideas as to what this could be? This video isn't as long as the others, so I'm not going to spend much time on it, but that doesn't mean it's any less creepy. Brian Orban is cruising down the street in northeastern Pennsylvania when he turns off on an old dirt road to get to his friend's house. As he pulls up, this large humanoid figure is caught on dash cam. The head, hands, and feet are white, but the body looks brown. It's slightly bent over and does a weird hopping run to get away. Brian thinks this could be a mysterious creature because it wasn't one of his friends. Then again, this video was recorded a couple weeks before Halloween, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was planned. Tell me if this is an unknown creature or a friend in a costume. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Buddy and Rascal, this two-part submission starts with a photo. The Redditor wrote, Caught this face while me and my mom were putting the boards on our basement windows. Our house was built in 1901. This image got a ton of upvotes with commenters praising its realness and asking for more evidence. The Redditor then posted a video writing, Here is a video of our basement. I personally don't see anything, but if you guys do, please let me know. In the comments, WranglerGreedy2976 thought they saw movement in the crawl space at the 16 second mark. Um, so you walk down here and the first thing you're greeted by is our uh, crawl space. I don't know what light to turn on so you can see it better. But that's our crawl space and then um, this is the window that the face was in. I don't like this window, but uh, <laughs> the crawl space isn't much better. There isn't, oh, I did not, there isn't very good vibes back here. Do you see what this commenter is talking about? Nevertheless, let's hope Buddy and Rascal are able to capture more paranormal evidence in this home. According to YouTuber Zero One Supernatural Studio, a gambler lived in this place. He lost all the land in a bet and then chose to take his own life. Let's see if his presence remains. The ghost hunter quickly gets a reading. <laughs> Inside, his meter spikes. The spike occurs right next to a mirror. Could this be a portal into another world? As he continues his search, he hears a voice. Here it is again with the infrared on. He asks the spirit to touch a paranormal device. Let's 
，灵体还在这个地方吗？若还在的话，摸一下好吗？谢谢。It seems to me that the spirit is here, but what the spirit's intentions are remains a mystery. YouTuber Hype Mike and his team are in a haunted house, and things are about to go off kilter. One of the team is setting up a camera when the light flickers and something creeps past at the end of the hall. Shortly after, the team hears a baby crying. Did you hear that? Is that a fucking baby? What is this? Is it? Yo, yo. Though they search for the baby, they can't find it. Then this happens. For sure, like here. something was crying in this like. Michael? Oh no, Mike's in there. I thought Mike was in there. Happened? No, what happened? Something, but that door just... just listen, listen, listen. By itself, bro. Listen. They come across a shape beneath a blanket on the bed. Dude, it literally seems like there's someone like... Wait. Stop, stop. Oh my God, bro. There's nobody in there. Shh, there can't be somebody in here. Look, you see the legs? No. Three, a baby okay. position, a baby position. Three? No. After it collapses beneath them, they hear footsteps coming from the kitchen. Just like fell over or something? Listen, listen. Whoa. That's the... That's, that's definitely... The that's stairs. going up the stairs? That sounds like the basement go, stairs, no, right? Go check, go check. Yeah, what you, go. What is in this house with them? Yo. What? It's open. No, no way. way. Ah! Oh, oh, shit, guys! No one's home, or maybe we're about to find out what is. I think there's more to this story, but I don't have the answers right now. This YouTuber isn't sure if deep web mystery boxes are real or not, so he buys as many of them as he can as an experiment of sorts. Sure enough, some of them don't have anything weird inside at all, while others look as though they were packaged by a complete psycho. Take this dirty stuffed animal that's been stuffed with even dirtier stuffed animals for instance. In the very last one is a pill container, presumably for smuggling purposes. The creepiest package of all is full of abused dolls. It looks like it was made by someone with serious problems. You can see how they cut off the doll's fingers one by one here. Then they made this children's pop-up book filled with occult symbiology. Ow. Oh. No, no. Then they are about to throw the whole box away when suddenly a yellow Teletubby doll with a burnt face grabs their attention. Listen to the sound it makes and tell me how this noise is even possible. At this point, he's seen enough and decides not to open any more boxes. The only problem is at least several more are heading to his address in the mail. YouTuber Chad Miller found a secret room in the attic of his house. You don't see this every day, he writes. You certainly don't. It looks like Chad is just moving into a new house, and now the fun begins. It's time to explore it. Inside a closet, he finds a ladder-like stairwell leading into a secret hidden room. As he crawls in, you find that it doesn't look like any old attic, unfinished with cobwebs and stacked with unruly odds and ends. Instead, the attic looks well finished with wooden walls, light fixtures and a nice clean space. It's like a sauna but air conditioned, Chad says. It does in fact look like a sauna. The room is rather large, with all wooden walls and even a couple of wooden benches. What was this super secret room used for? We can only guess. All I know is that I wouldn't mind finding this secret room in my new home. It's 4 in the morning when Casey Jones awakens to a creepy scratching noise coming from above. It's loud enough to be a rodent, but as she's about to reveal, it's something unexplainably worse. No, it's not a mouse. It's this! What the f 
is that thing? Does anybody know? Oh it looks like an exceptionally large grasshopper that's roughly as thick as her thumb. I know this insect must have a real name, but giant mutant bug is all that comes to mind. Feel free to clue me in on its actual identity. It's a little past 3 a.m. and this video is about to get weird, so I'll try to explain things as best I can. For a second, the doorbell camera goes out of focus, and then this weird thing floats across. Not an orb, not a bug, not a bird, no wings that I can see. It's just a big out of place anomaly that the uploader of this video was unable to explain, and I fear I can't do much better. If you've seen anything like this go across your ring doorbell camera or any other doorbell cameras, then explain what this object floating by was. I'm not the only one who would like to know. The Jagged Things crew visited a haunted hotel in this paranormal investigation. A few things happened while exploring the home that they didn't notice until watching the video back. The first occurs behind Linda. Watch closely. Did you see that? It looks like something passes behind her. Here it is, more slowly. To me, it looks like it could just be the backlighting from the window distorted by Linda's position in front of the doorway and the movement of the camera. But this isn't the only spooky thing to occur. Watch the door at the end of the hall. And here's a close-up. Although it's more interesting to think this was paranormal, I have to admit it could also be a draft. Still, both are great captures. What do you think is going on here? When Ibdesum and Kevin put a GoPro on their dog, they were never expecting to have so many scary moments caught on tape that they would later question if their house was really haunted. Here's their paranormal evidence. Okay, so at 1 minute and 35 seconds, the dog clearly hears some noises that we can't. Dogs have really good hearing though, so that's not really paranormal proof. The dog goes into the next room and appears to see something, though it's probably just a balloon in the corner that it doesn't recognize. Again weird, but not necessarily paranormal. However, as soon as it turns around and lets its guard down, a loud, scary noise comes from where it was just looking. Nothing else happens for a while and the dog gets some sleep. Upon waking up, the dog takes an interest in the living room again, this time investigating under the table instead of in the corner, almost like it's tracking movement. It goes to look out the door. The window appears to be shut when all of a sudden, a creepy scream fills the house. And shortly after, it looks like the dog sees phantom movements across the living room, same as before. The dog is obviously stressed out and can't seem to stay in one place for long. And maybe it's just me, but at 16 minutes and 23 seconds, I definitely see an eerie figure caught on GoPro sitting with her back turned. The owners return home none the wiser, and if you look closely, it looks like the dog runs past them both, simply wanting to bolt out of the door and get away from the possibly haunted home. Ghost Hunter Simply Serret has a profoundly paranormal experience while exploring a haunted house in India. He sets a wind-up toy on the ledge of a window as a way for a ghost to communicate its presence. They are kind of goofing around when suddenly things get very serious and very creepy. <laughs> They think laughter is coming from the window, but then they hear more scary stuff from above. Oh. 
They run into the room with the wind-up toy, only to hear more noises following close behind. <laughs> Running footsteps sends them rushing out of the house, and as they flee, the wind-up toy moves by itself. He holds it up to the camera to make sure the paranormal evidence is caught on tape. He has one hand on the camera and one hand holding the toy. There's no tie for him to have wound it up. And the wind-up toy somehow continues to move on its own as they run into the forest away from the abandoned haunted house that has scared them so terribly bad. I'm going to take you to one of the most haunted places in the world. Some people call it the Arnold Estate, but you probably know it as the Conjuring House. Yeah, that one. This 1700s farmhouse in Harrisville, Rhode Island is where the ill-fated Perron family lasted from January of 1971 until June of 1980. During this time, items would go missing and small piles of dirt would show up whenever they cleaned the kitchen floor. Soon they were visited by spirits who smelled of rotting and could possess them at will. That's because it was less of a farmhouse and more of a portal to the underworld. A sorceress named Bathsheba Sherman is said to have practiced arcane magic here, possibly even sacrificing her own kin to better forge a connection with the underworld. People have lost their lives all over the property. Kids floating in a creek and swinging in the attic, too. Now it's a place for only the bravest of ghost hunters to go. Jennifer and Marcel of J&M Explorations want to put their skills and equipment to the test. On March 18th of 2020, they team up with some friends for safety in numbers and prepare to explore it, the real conjuring house. They want to see something crazy, so they waste little time heading straight into the basement, the same place where father and husband Roger Perron used to feel a sinking presence behind him whenever he had to come down here to fix the heating equipment, which mysteriously filled many times. The deeper they go, the more they are filled with dread. I don't think it's just them down here, and this is why. Oh my god, it's just the creepiest. Something guides them to a piece of old wooden furniture in the far corner that just so happens to have a kid's drawing on it. Andrea thinks this could be a person with a crooked neck in her words, and I see what she means. If it's not that, then maybe it's someone floating in the creek. As she's exploring what it could be, a small face with large black eyes looks at her from behind. At least that's what some people claim to see. Roger always thought he felt something behind him. The old barn is next. This part is of particular interest. Yeah. This is neat, that old soda. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Marcel is right by her, so it's not him. And here's another voice they catch in the bedroom. This one's not in the mood to sing. Make a noise, but you gotta make it close. Make it, make the noise in here with us. Can you knock on the wall? Its voice drips with hatred, and soon thereafter a foul smell washes over Jennifer, the same one who moments earlier was asking for a sign. Well, I think she's got one and don't think she's faking. That smell's coming back, and I can taste it. I don't, I don't like that at all. I want to get a drink. Go ahead. All right. I'm I'll gonna, stay up here. Yep. She smells the rotting, in my opinion, a stench coming from the door. Watch her reaction when she tries to leave. Oh my god. 
Just then, their friends enter to talk about their experience while using a Ouija board downstairs. They spelt out a demonic name and just the mention of it registers on their equipment. The smell is when something evil, demonic, is around you. When we were downstairs playing the, the Ouija board with the yells above, and then they started smelling the smell up here. You know what I'm saying? The meter's going off. And while paranormal equipment is designed to withstand electromagnetic interference, normal cameras are not. Wait a minute, were those the ones that were on that table right over here? The screen turned off without him anywhere near it. A final truly bizarre moment happens when they head down to the dining room and see this hanging decoration is spinning. Soon another one is moving, this time side to side instead of in circles. Here's the same room taken towards the beginning of the video. The camera is not steady, but it's steady enough to tell that these objects are not spinning. It could be far from a vent or a draft, but I don't think so. These dried flowers are meant specifically to keep spirits away. Moving the flowers could be a message from the spirits that this isn't enough to stop them, as one of the ghost hunters points out. So you can say what you want about the movies, but the location it's based on is definitely not some place you'd want to spend the night at. J&M Explorations experienced the same type of early situations that the parents had happened to them during their first few years of living here. Before things started ramping up, I guess the house likes to take its time. Oh, and then there's this doll who goes from waving hello at 13 minutes and 47 seconds to asking for a hug at 34 minutes and 39 seconds. So I guess Annabelle isn't the only one with possession problems. A paranormal YouTuber named CHZA Chad is in search of some real ghost sightings, so he goes exploring an abandoned hospital in Perrysburg, New York, called the J.N. Adams Memorial Hospital. This old hospital is said to be haunted by patients from the early 1900s who, on occasion, will still show up for treatment in the hallway as a ghost. Chad soon separates from his team of fellow ghost hunters to explore the hospital on his own. The hospital is actually a collection of abandoned buildings and Chad is determined to investigate as many of them as he can to discover which places are the scariest and most haunted of all. In another room he finds and mistakenly handles a red container with a biohazard symbol. He doesn't look to see what's inside, but touching it at all probably wasn't a good idea. That's not his only concern. It's not long before he suspects there is a ghost in the hallway with him as well. Really? Whoa. I was about to say I'm walking down this creepy hallway, but there's a stairway right here. Whoa. What was that? Right here. Whoa. Creepy noises coming from both ends of the hallway leave him unsure where to turn next. He wanders across a room with a single chair inside of a pentagram, like a ritual of some kind has been performed here, one that we're probably better off not knowing about. It's a weird enough discovery to make him rejoin his group, who by this point are as creeped out as he is. While exploring a different floor, they find this bird helplessly flying wall to wall, even though there is an open window for it to go through. Maybe that's why the bird is flying around like that. He probably knows something crazy happened right there. It could be protecting a nest, but something feels wrong in this room, and they take the bird's confusion as a sign of negative paranormal energy in the air. They chose to investigate this area with high-tech paranormal equipment designed to translate ghost voices into speech using special voice recognition software. First, it says the name Paul, followed by two more words. A and we are up here. Yo, is anything appearing on the screen right now? Where? Watch the screen. Again? Pure human is what Paul the ghost says. I wonder if it's actually trying to say not up here, but rather up here, as in above them, possibly referring to the space where the bird was trying to go. Next, they place a backpack on the ground and invite Paul the ghost to interact with it. At 22 minutes and 40 seconds, their paranormal equipment registers ghost sightings all around the object, and at 22 minutes and 55 seconds, the ghost kicks its bare foot off the backpack and disappears. One of the ghost hunters, named Herm, stands in front of the camera to verify that it is working correctly. We're using electronics to see you. Whoa, that thing shot out of you. 
like he's inside you, I think. Their equipment has no problem detecting the ghost hunter as well, as a solid black paranormal orb that shoots out of the space where he's standing. It's like he's inside you, I think, says the ghost hunter named Kasha. Tell me if you agree that this could be a possession caught on tape. Not much else happens for another minute or so, and they feel the paranormal energy start to fade from this cursed room. They catch one last ghost sighting in the corner of the room by the door, evidence that it's no longer interested in them in parting ways. But when Chad looks up, his camera refuses to go into focus, almost as if Paul the ghost is in the hallway, watching them for one last time. A UFO appears to burn in midair as it stalls directly over Area 51, in front of plenty of witnesses. I think this video is probably CGI, because the smoke almost looks like it could be a looping animation. But if anything like this were to ever happen on Earth, Area 51 is where it would most likely take place, so I'm not entirely discounting the legitimacy of this video. This footage was taken after hours by a staff member on a college campus in North Yorkshire. It was shot through a classroom window and shows the outline of a person attentively studying at a computer, seemingly without knowing that they were being filmed. The only problem is that no one else should have been in the building at the time. The video could be CGI, or it could be the actual weightless black mass of a real ghost. This drone footage was taken somewhere deep in the Salt Fork Park in Ohio. The video starts out ordinarily enough, but then sometime around the 5 minute mark, you might be able to see something hiding in the thickets. Watch the left side of your screen closely as the drone starts to land, and pay close attention because it happens pretty fast. Many people claim they can see a large creature stop and look up as the drone passes by. Some even claim that this is a Bigfoot sighting in broad daylight. I do see what they are talking about, but I personally don't see any movement, and I think it could possibly be a tree. Let me know if you see it and if you agree. A YouTuber named CTV911 is on his way to see the new Star Wars movie. When the crowded mall elevator abruptly stops, leaving him stuck with other worried passengers. I can't exactly tell for sure, but I think one of them might be trying to force the doors open here, maybe to get more air into the elevator. Watch this part and let me know what you think they are trying to tell him not to do. Ed, please. Hey, stop, hey, anybody up there? Oh, it's getting unbearably hot in here. Can try the phone again to let them know someone's going down? I could only imagine what would have happened if he had managed to actually get the doors open. After about 9 minutes, one of the passengers breaks down and has a full-blown panic attack. You don't have a medicine? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. It isn't until 40 minutes later that help finally arrives. Firefighters can't get the doors open, so they have to bust in through the top of the elevator. Their welcome entrance nonetheless sends shrapnel down on the waiting crowd. Watch your eyes, guys. There's Watch screws everywhere, too. I'm still going up. Can I have it? Yeah, yeah, you can have it. We hey, don't hey, want hey. it. Hey, 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 we're trying to help. They somehow squeeze a ladder into the elevator and send everyone up one by one. The YouTuber misses his movie but is glad he no longer has to spend another moment stuck in that cramped space. A man riding his motorcycle in India at night captures a bizarre sight on his helmet cam that makes him scream in terror. A strange all-white figure crosses his lane without any regard for their safety. He manages to go around the apparition, still screaming all the while, but I can't help but wonder if he would have passed right through the phantom had he kept going straight. Don't get me wrong, this could, in all likelihood, simply be a regular person covering themselves with a shroud to make a scary video, but what's weird is how, when he passes by, you can see a spooky white light piercing from under the fabric that doesn't look like it belongs. He turns around immediately and lets out another scream because it's nowhere to be found. So is this a fake video? Or is this apparition actually recreating its final moments on Earth by walking on the road at night and then disappearing? A person checks their CCTV to catch whoever busted their side view mirror. It's on the sidewalk side and therefore absolutely couldn't have been a car. 
The video does not end at all as expected. When a Phantom Force snatches the mirror and gives it a twist, then again maybe a manufacturer's bolt or something came loose here at two seconds. Point is, I have never seen a car mirror do something like this all by itself before. Have you? A YouTube channel called DYP Official finds some kind of abandoned facility way out of the woods. One climbs to the top of a big blue container and sticks their head over the end, which is scary for reasons I'll get back to soon enough. Two other large vats grab their attention. Found a whole thing of sulfuric acid in the woods. Sulfuric acid. <laughs> Yo, please stop, bro, please. Bro. He would have kept turning the release valve had they both not shouted at him to stop. I don't know if it was full, but if so, he would have been in deep trouble and might not have survived an acid spray. In the shed, they find a gas mask and large science beakers used to hold chemicals. One of the vials is still full, so they take it outside for a better look until their friend grabs it from them. Boom! Luckily for them, it doesn't break. Breathing in any unknown chemical, whether indoors or outdoors, could end up with them on the floor. Inside of an abandoned building, they find a label that got me curious. I googled what polyseed inoculum is, and the answer sheds light on what this facility really is. Basically, this is used to break down biological waste. They've been playing around in a biological waste treatment center the whole time, touching things that ordinarily require a full biohazard suit to handle. Whatever chemicals they were handling probably were not safe, and the air quality can't be much better. The type of place that could really mess you up after maybe a few visits. In other words, certainly not a place where you'd ever want to stick your face over an old chemical vat and take a big whiff. On the other side of this fence is nothing but miles of vast wilderness. Exactly what lurks beyond this point is anyone's guess, but apparently something huge and hostile has been regularly coming into the backyard of a YouTuber named Big Dill for some reason, possibly in search of its next meal. But what happens is this creature comes up against these, this fence and it jumps this fence. And it was standing, we think, right in this where I'm standing right now. Literally two seconds later, this wild and hungry howl fills the night. I'm getting this footage, and did you just hear that? Now here's the part that's really unsettling. You probably didn't see it at first, but a pair of glowing eyes are without a doubt watching him from the trees. Maybe they were the very eyes of the beast itself, as it changes his way while making that hideous, inhuman scream. When walking alone in the wilderness, you generally don't want to run into anyone at all, let alone someone perched in a place you'd least expect them. That's exactly what happened to this individual, whose footage was posted to YouTube in August of 2014. The person appears to be walking in a rather remote forested area. Ahead stands a blocked stone tunnel, and sitting atop the concrete is someone dressed in a white shirt facing the tunnel's interior. What are they doing there, and why? Reaching this depth of the forest, or that tunnel itself, are quite difficult tasks. The cameraman doesn't wait to find out, and probably rightly so. He backs away slowly, before turning around and moving quickly out of there. Some locals in the comments insist to never approach that area, saying, This is really serious. Never go. I gotta agree. Better safe than sorry. When two strangers pull up to your boat on the Nile, you have to assume the worst. This area is known for pirates. They cast a line and tie themselves to the ship in preparation to board. Oh dear lord. The one in white reaches down and then back turns, stands up while holding something. Alright guys, look for art. Does anyone see an RPG in there? He reaches back into his pocket and pulls out nothing but towels. As it turns out, this area is full of traveling salesmen too, even at sea. Still, I think they probably should have ran for help as soon as they thought these could be pirates, instead of recording in plain sight and making themselves an easy target. This haunting video of a woman in a cemetery is creepy beyond all belief. 
She thinks she's alone in the cemetery, looks as empty as can be, but somewhere. A child is heard screaming. She never shows what's going on in front of her, but that's because the screams are clearly coming from behind. She aims the camera down that way and only finds row after row of markers. No one is there, and yet the scary voices prevail. This one has to be paranormal in my opinion. A YouTuber named Jake Carlini and his friends all want to experience creepy randonautica moments, so they summon the scariest thing that comes to mind, forest clowns. We're all gonna think about clowns. The app takes them randonauting to a scary location in the woods that creeps them out even in broad daylight. A bird calls overhead, but listen closely, and you'll hear creepy noises coming from deeper in the woods. Do you guys hear that? Circus music, to be precise. I hear circus music. Oh my god. It's not like an ice cream truck would be driving out here, so there's no reason for scary sounds to be playing in the middle of the woods. They leave before they can get a clown sighting on video, but maybe they'll go exploring there again one day. The grounds where a double life taking has occurred is no place to be at night. The guys in this video learned that the hard way. Published to YouTube by the Valspire family in October of 2017, this ghost investigation has all the right ingredients for fear. A storm, an abandoned house at night in the middle of the woods, and a Ouija board. The host, Aiden, says the house has a super creepy backstory and is said to be haunted. The story goes that two male lovers built a mansion up in the woods, as such things weren't accepted at the time. The men had their lives taken in this home. The suspects received life sentences in 1982, but the fact that the police investigation turned up occult tools and books, along with the macabre decor of the home, turned the event into a media circus. The men were labeled devil worshippers. And now, back to this video. The ghost investigators leave their house at midnight in a storm, planning to arrive at Corpsewood Manor at 3 a.m. They drive into the woods and then set out on foot on the path, not sure where they are, ready to get lost. They arrive at a fork in the road and finally find their way to the abandoned manor. Aiden hears a grumbling, which he admits may be thunder. I heard like a grumbling, but that might have been thunder. He says that his camera, with its full battery, keeps shutting off every time they attempt to start with the Ouija board. At 3 in the morning they begin, asking the Ouija board if anyone had their life taken there. Nothing happens, but they do hear something in the vicinity. Aiden says that he wants to go check it out, and thinks it sounded like someone walking. I heard someone over there. Very good. Jared is freaked out, hearing another sound in the trees. He thinks it was probably the wind. Dude, I heard something. No, you did not. They decide to leave because Jared can't take it anymore. Can you blame him? Aiden recalls that when he sat at the Ouija board and opened up the portal to the spirit world, he forgot to say goodbye, and he claims that ever since then, weird stuff has been happening. All I know is that place seriously seemed haunted. Bugs are awful on their own, but swarms of them. What a nightmare. Published to YouTube in June of 2018, Phelan Fairchild writes that mayflies swarm in from the lake every year and have to be snowplowed off roads and walkways. The video shows Fairchild's front desk absolutely littered with the bugs. At first you think they're a pile of fall leaves or other debris, but upon closer inspection, you can see as Fairchild points out, hundreds of thousands of bugs all over the place. They're on the deck floor, on the front door, on the window, and on the entire exterior of this poor woman's house. Fairchild notes that the spiders are having a heyday with this. You can't look away from this creepy sight. Fairchild says that it stinks and will be hard to clean up. It's not noted where she lives, but mayflies do appear near fresh water and are signs of a healthy water ecosystem. Swarms like this one can last for up to a month. Seems like a summer holiday abroad is in order. If you think you see someone that others don't, you may be right. 
posted to the ghost subreddit by Christina7658. The redditor explains that a friend that works at a subway in South Texas recorded this footage from a security monitor. After a co-worker kept seeing a cowboy, who apparently wasn't really there, the bad quality of the footage is due to the fact that this happened more than 10 years ago. This is what the pair found when they reviewed it. A shadow figure is seen rising from the ground near the entryway. The mist-like figure appears to hover for a moment before making its exit through the window. This has most in the comments freaked out, with Typeractive Audi stating, You can see his hat. I won't sleep tonight. Other Redditors like JCKCS Mama debunk the all-too-common insect on the lens theory by stating that the anomaly doesn't appear from the edges of the camera frame. As as one might expect a crawling insect to. Instead, it seems to come directly from the ground. Christina also states that the anomaly appears to take on the window tint as it exits the building. She also notes that the worker who kept seeing the cowboy had seen it throughout her entire shift. There used to be another video of her washing dishes, and a black blob like the one in the video is next to her. Although she couldn't find the other video, the combination of events has many leaning towards the paranormal. Others suggest that corruption of the videotape or the camera's hardwire issues could be a more practical explanation. But is that what you're seeing here? A lot of people want to know where the line is when art goes goes too far, and the answer is when your painting starts moving by itself. There's no loud construction sending vibration through the walls, no jets overhead, no trains, just a picture bouncing against the wall. Maybe they put a magnet on the picture, and a magnet of the same pole on the other side of the wall to make them repel. Or maybe they should just move like he says. It's 1.40 in the morning and two friends are cruising down a dark road, completely unable to see what's on the other side. They both think that they spot movement in the trees, and having nothing better to do, they pull over and shine their headlights into the area. Nothing happens for some time, and then a figure slowly emerges from the dry brush. One of them says that they think this is a witch, and I agree that could be a possibility. They are dressed in all black and hunched over holding what appears to be a walking stick. If this is not fake and that's not a third friend, then I can't imagine what anybody would be doing walking in complete darkness all alone, especially so late at night. A ghost hunter named Jay goes exploring an infamously haunted place known as the Yellow House. The paranormal activity begins minutes into the investigation. Anyone that's residing in this house, I come in peace. You don't have to be scared of me. I'm gonna get the EMF meter out just so I know kind of what's going on around here. Oh. How you doing? Do you remember me from the other night? We're off to a good start. Well, I will keep an eye on this as we walk around. Keep stepping on crap though. Man, I can feel people just walking around behind me. This is so, so much more active than it was the other night. I swear I keep hearing somebody moving around. It's freaking me out. There was nobody in here when I walked around earlier. Now I have been here for a little bit. He crosses back through the kitchen. Watch the sound levels. Okay. So maybe we disproved that one. I 
still here, somebody else. Angry. Oh. Angry? Are you trying to make me angry? No. Notice how the ghost says the word angry just outside of a room with a bunch of holes punched in the wall. Something is in here. I swear I'm being followed. I swear something is walking around behind me, messing with me, and then going around and Part of Jay wants to leave, but this is the best paranormal evidence he's ever gotten, so he swallows his fear and sets up one last experiment using his final piece of equipment. You know what? I actually want to try some. We were getting that stick figure in this hallway, like I was seeing there in this closet. I want to see if. Just going off of that. Look, 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 look. Thank you for making that ball go off. He is not moving at all. It's not the floor shaking from his steps. He goes back to the kitchen where he's gotten the most activity. I know you guys had. To, I hope this picked that up. It sounded like somebody just tapped on the wall. keeps wanting me to go back there, but I'm, I'm done. And if you thought that video was creepy, look what happened the month prior when he went exploring a place known only as the Haunted Doll House. It's a lot of energy in there. I feel it. I, I heard somebody talk to me It's crazy. He sweeps the room for activity and detects the word spirit when facing the doll. Next, they get a steady indication of EMF activity on the toy. They determine the spirit is named Josh and decide to confirm their findings with a second piece of paranormal equipment. Can you light the REM pod up again? It's the green. Can you light up the blue? Light up the blue or the purple? Oh, I bet it is. That's the name I got in that room. Really? Hi, Joshua. Is that Morse code? That's yeah. loud, oh, isn't yeah. it? Is that your friend, Josh? I've never seen one of these things go this crazy no, for this long. It's definitely, definitely. I, it's spirits of children. I can feel that Dead. already. Dead. They hold an EVP session and while they don't pick up any distinct voices, a final creepy moment does happen. If you can't see a light, try to go into the light. While persuading the spirit to detach itself from the doll, an orb just so happens to go past the light and into her. This spirit is either finally being released or transferring itself to a new living host. This footage was supposedly taken from a submarine lurking somewhere in the Greenland Sea. The crew is so fascinated with a school of fish overhead that they fail to see a much rarer creature directly behind them. A 
A large webbed hand that is roughly five times larger than any human's slaps the glass before pushing away. It's almost as if the humanoid creature was toying with the submarine crew and wanted to make its presence known. However, one thing bothers me about this video. If everyone is so interested in the school of fish passing above them, then why is the cameraman focusing on his crewmate's reaction instead of the fish? This video could very well be scripted and CGI, although it also wouldn't surprise me if it really was legitimate. Only the submarine crew knows for sure. Bell Tower Bat lives in a haunted hotel that's built upon a series of tunnels that are haunted as well. So she decides to go ghost hunting with the TikTok app and see what reality Ripple shows her. The first thing she notices are a couple antique bottles that seem to have a ghost attached to them. It's an all black aura that is far different from the psychedelic colors that are usually displayed. Now it's time to leave her room and see what else her ghost hunting app has to show her. She doesn't see anything for the rest of the video until she gets to the very last haunted hallway. A ghostly shadow figure looks at her down the hall and sends her the other way. The reality ripple is still on, so if this was a living person, it should be an orange or purple color. Instead, the shadow person is devoid of color, so either this video was edited, or else it's a real ghost sighting on TikTok. This kid is making a random video in a dark room for no real reason at all. When he makes the mistake of looking down for a brief second to cough, <laughs> a hunched over humanoid creature, who may or may not just be one of his friends, takes this opportunity to hit the ground of all fours and scramble after him. Even if this was one of his friends, maybe something bad happened to them to cause this transformation to take place, in which case, there is nothing fake about this video. Do the spirits of the past on linger where they took their last breath on Earth? They might, as this video from YouTuber Terror Latente suggests. A hospital worker wanders around the empty corridors of a hospital. When they capture a glimpse of something while rounding a corner, watch closely. Did you see her? Here is the footage again, slowed down. There is definitely a figure there, and when the camera pans back moments later, she's gone. This capture really gives me the chills. I feel this is a genuine ghost, a spirit whose life ended here in this hospital. What do you think? Have you ever met a ghost on a cruise ship? Well, here's your chance. Published on July 25th, 2010 by YouTuber Jim Van Eekhout, this video allegedly captures the whales of the Queen Mary Pool ghost. The retired ocean liner was active from the 27th of May 1936 to the 31st of October 1967 on the North Atlantic. According to some, the ship is haunted, and regular ghost tours visit the Queen in the wee hours of the morning to witness the supernatural. Not only that, but the historic treasure now operates as a museum, hotel, restaurant, and all-in-one tourist destination. While it may seem like the ghost stuff was just tacked on for the charm of it. Some claim that a murder actually did occur on the ship in one of the staterooms, and the victim's ghost is said to haunt that room till this day. One of these tales seems to be that of a baby named Jackie, who lurks near Queen Mary's pool. According to the uploader, there were no children in the tour group, which set out at 1 a.m., but listen closely. You hear that. It's a baby crying. Yes. 
The black and white video is creepy enough, with the empty deserted pool below and the crowd standing around with blank faces, but then you hear that eerie wailing of an infant, followed by the humming of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It's enough to send chills up your spine. Although the humming is credited to one of the investigators, the baby's cries are credited to the ghost of Jackie, which leaves us wondering, what happened to baby Jackie, and why do her cries remain here? While hiking through the Great Smoky Mountains in North Carolina, YouTuber Mr. Backyard Birding hears this bizarre roar. It sounds almost mechanical, but the YouTuber says it is the sound of a mythical once extinct giant creature who is said to roam the mountains. The sound is heard repeatedly as the YouTuber continues through the forest. While some are mystified, others are sure this sound is not mythical but rather common. Having listened to some bull elk calls, I have to agree, but if I didn't know any better, this would shake me to my core. Proving Demons Right, on our paranormal investigation at a haunted hotel, we capture a real shadow person hat man on video. Are you wondering what a hat man is? Let Dana Matthews from the site Weak and Weird explain the phenomena. According to Matthews, shadow men came creeping out of the shadows in 2011 when paranormal radio personality Art Bell cast a light into the darkness on his radio show Coast to Coast AM, and the result was a burgeoning community of people coming forward, explaining their encounters with these phenomena. Out of this shadow people phenomena, another slightly different experience arose, encounters with the hat man. Much like shadow people, the hat man often appears at nighttime, wearing a wide-brimmed hat, hence the name. Those who encounter him have described him as a solid black mass, darker than a shadow without discernible facial features, and no describable lower body. Apart from a long flowing trench coat, the hat man is often seen floating and moves without sound, quite frequently in a basement setting. Another quality of this phenomena is that the hat man tends to appear in places of high negative energy and family dysfunction. This video shows either a hat man or shadow figure haunting this generally creepy house. The figure flies down a hallway, disappearing into a distant room as the ghost investigators search the house's interior. So what's going inside this house? Is it haunted? The hat man phenomena is often a recurring one for many people, from childhood to adulthood. Some believe shadow people are evil, like physical medium Amy Allen, who thinks they are interdimensional entities. Although the hat man and the shadow person might seem one and the same, they do indeed appear to be two separate entities. If you see a hat man, consider your family dynamics and the energy of your relationships. Does this video make you believe in hat men and shadow figures? If so, don't turn around. Ghost Hunter Emacs has some of the creepiest videos in the small but growing Japanese ghost hunter community. Videos with scary moments like this one that will haunt you for a long time. He's exploring an abandoned hospital when he senses something paranormal is near. A ghost in the same hallway. <laughs> It's just there one second at 10 minutes 16 seconds, and within two seconds it's being pushed back three feet into the closet. Did he really see a wheelchair move by itself while exploring a haunted hospital, or did someone pull it from off camera? The video looks convincing, but I guess we'll never know. A scary and mysterious possible ghost sighting is caught on camera by a YouTuber in India named Mumbiker Nikhil. This creepy incident was caught on tape while passing through. 
RA Colony, which he says has a pretty scandalous reputation to the point where everyone knows not to be walking by themselves at night near there. That's why he was surprised when this happened late at night. A mysterious figure on the road seems to clip through his mirror. Watch closely and you'll see that they should have made contact in his opinion. And I agree that it's awfully close. Tell me what you see. And more importantly, if this alleged ghost really has a missing head. If you had a chance to visit a haunted hospital, would you? YouTubers Ogden Paranormal became this haunted hospital's reluctant patients when they stepped into Asylum 49. Published to YouTube in September of 2019, Ogden Paranormal wrote, The old 2L hospital is one of the most haunted places in Utah, if not the most haunted. This location was made famous by the Ghost Adventures crew, who have now visited twice due to the incredible evidence they captured the first go-around. Ogden has investigated this place several times, and this time they returned to investigate who or what scared them out of the place years prior. A little background on the old 2L hospital as one of Utah's major paranormal sites. The underfunded hospital was without a morgue, leaving the passed away stacked and waiting for their paperwork. Patients have stuck around the place, showing themselves even to those retired folk who resided in and what remained of the building. It's said that sightings of ghost children often precede someone's passing. Others believe the child ghosts are actually demons, and they aren't the only spirits that appear there. A nurse in white roams the hallways, a man dressed in black appears at 3 a.m., and a little girl has been known to appear and then vanish. So who did Ogden Paranormal encounter during their investigation? Let's see firsthand. Granted, this asylum has been turned into a haunted house, so much of the creepiness you see in the video is set up to appear that way, but other things can't really be explained. About four minutes in, they head into the nursery, where a creepy old lady statue is posed. They are alone back here, or so they think. Look at the window to the left. Something passes beyond, creating a shadow figure in the frame. It moves out of frame once they come nearer, the old lady. Later on, two of the crew see a figure down one hallway. As they're slowly making their way down the hallway, a giggle is heard in one of the rooms. The room is empty apart from some freaky mannequins. Where you at, Wes? Later, while all gathered in a conference room, they hear footsteps. What's that? Have you not moved? No. You guys heard those footsteps over here, right? Yeah, I, I thought that was you, man. During their ghost box session, spirits are responding with frequency. One tells them good luck repeatedly. And one of the spirits brings up Skittles, which had been part of the conversation on a previous visit to the asylum. Little anomalies and disembodied breathing are also heard throughout the investigation. Makes you wonder, are there spirits here? Or are these mannequins about to come? Two ghost hunters from a UK channel called Paranormal Hauntings go exploring an abandoned building called the Ye Old Heroin, a place well known for paranormal activity. Investigating the front desk leads to this moment of spooky tranquility. Just gonna turn that off. A minute. Their camera has caught an abundance of orbs in this area. In this area alone, including one extra bright orb that outshines the rest, a spirit they claim. Dust covers everything they've been exploring in this abandoned place, so maybe that was it. The ghost hunters unpack their equipment and capture some rather scary EVPs on video. Something in the next room over speaks to them from the darkness. That looks creepy, creepy. I can see her. I can see her. What the hell? Are you down the corridor? A woman whispers to take her hand. Apparently, she's sitting in the doorway, watching. And maybe even reaching out for them. This demonic place will spit you back out again. 
published by Toppy in February of 2022, a paranormal and team encountered real demons in this creepy place. They soon hear sounds in the abandoned building and capture voices as they continue their search. <laughs> Everything is falling apart and is probably unsafe. As they look down an endless dark hallway, they hear what they think is water running. And then this scares them to attention. There is undoubtedly something in here. The question is, is it human? They won't be able to see it with their light off. When your recording equipment starts going haywire, that's a clear sign that the spirits don't want you here after all. Have you ever feared you're living a walking nightmare? Titled Daymares, this video is posted by YouTuber Ghosts of Carmel, Maine in October of 2017. The video begins with a short explanation that reads, When faced with the unknown, alone and frightened, call it Daymares. The 20 minute video opens with a pic of a shadow person appearing in a photo taken in 1906, which also shows the YouTuber's house. The YouTuber says this paranormal figure has been showing up a lot within the past past months. The YouTuber then shows evidence of these instances with video footage of the shadow man standing in several places in his home, including silhouetted by the light of the window. He writes that he has a theory who this shadow person is. The man was short. In fact, people used to make fun of his height when he was alive, making him an angry ghost of eternal bitterness who haunts the living through fear. A few clips show the ghost grinning at him in the darkness. One night, there was a lot of paranormal activity going on in the YouTuber's house, including walking and banging. As he takes video footage of his dark home, he asks who was making so much noise. They were walking around the bedroom all night long, making noise. I even heard rattling sounds. Banging, who was doing it? On occasion, he captures what he describes as yelling in the background. Well, was somebody down here yelling? At one point, when he says hello, he is answered. Was somebody down there yelling? Hi, that. He hears strange talking and heads downstairs to see if the TV was left on. After discovering it's off, he places the camera on the ground and leaves it there in an attempt to capture the yelling. He leaves the house altogether, but a neighbor starts mowing the lawn, drowning out some of the noise. However, some moving sounds were caught on the video. At some point, the camera is knocked over, which the YouTuber suggests could only have been done by something paranormal. After this, the YouTuber returns upstairs to capture some more footage. When he turns towards the door, there is some movement. He says it appears as if clothing is being pulled out the door. But after turning the light on, he finds nothing on the landing or downstairs. He returns to the bedroom and says the shadow person is in the window again. There is indeed a shadow there, though it's oddly shapeless. Then, something rather solid seems to fall inside the room. He thinks it went under the bed, but all he finds beside the bed is a small teddy bear. Does this video make you a believer in this haunted house? If it does, get ready for some certain daymares. The Redditor who posted this video to the Chills Narrator subreddit wonders what this mysterious creature might be. Originally posted by John O'Donnell underscore 22 on TikTok, the creature in question races upright on two spindly legs, being chased by what looks to be a coyote. The creature has a long snout and appears to be shaven. As it runs down a residential street, it makes a high-pitched noise to avoid the predator on his tail. The creature jumps in or onto a nearby garbage can, and after the oblivious coyote continues on, 
The creature flips in a somersault off of the garbage, making yet another strange noise as it does. What is this thing? Let's see what Reddit has to say about it. Some suggest it's a golem, others a cat, and at least one a sphinx cat. Redditor all caps all dust says, It's called the gully Beast. It takes from those who are believed to be inept at distinguishing what's real and what's not. If that's correct, talk about mind blown. When all is said and done, it's either a real mystery creature or just plain CGI. But whatever it is, you have to admit, it's freaky. In the midst of the desert, this hole is hiding something. TikToker Sicaria Al98 shares this mysterious video. Happening upon a deep dark pit in the middle of the desert is a mystery in and of itself, but the sounds coming from its depths take this mystery to the next level. It sounds to me like shrieking cats, but others suggest these are the chilling wails of those who have passed on. Is this a portal to the fiery depths below? If so, seal that thing back up ASAP. It's after hours at a hardware store when this red balloon floats into view for no reason at all. The store owner doesn't notice anything out of the ordinary. As he makes his way to a shelf to price some items, the balloon stays in place for approximately 15 seconds, which is already weird enough. But then once his back is turned, it steadily moves in his direction and even slowly floats to eye level, where it stays behind him for a long time. When he still doesn't notice, it actually floats around to cut him off. According to the owner, the air conditioning was turned off and there was no draft in the building, so there really should be no way for this balloon to be moved at all. Besides, he doesn't even sell them to begin with and has no idea how one floated into a closed store. At the westernmost edge of Taylor Valley is a glacier where the ice runs red. Experts are baffled as to what this vile reaction is made out of and where these eruptions are coming from. Surface samples reveal this red sludge is a mix of salt water and mystery compounds unlike any other. They suspect this strange red water pours forth from a system of complex underwater caverns that have never been explored before. No one has a clue what else is down there, but it's got to be creepy beyond belief if the opening of this glacier is any indication. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Under the ice, they found small unknown organisms that can somehow survive extreme temperatures. Beneath a sheet of ice with no food or light, researchers are currently investigating water samples taken from this area in hopes of solving this mysterious unexplained video. We'll just have to remain creeped out until they find an answer. A family in the Bahamas recorded the horrors they endured. Posted to Twitter by Gilbert NMO Morris, he writes, it has been 14 hours now with Dorian in Freeport, Bahamas, and this is the roof of a home there. Take notice of the wind and rush of the waves. This family was already on the top floor of the house. Can you imagine holding steadfast in the roof of your home moments away from being swallowed by the sea? The event is reportedly one of the worst on record to hit the islands. The Bahamas will take years to recover from this. Around 300 homes were completely destroyed. No doubt the home shown in this video was one of them. This strange sighting in the sky was caught on camera, flying over the Mexican town of Tepoztlan, and it's really been freaking people out. The strange drone-like object changes colors multiple times, and I don't think it's colored lights. 
It looks like the body itself is somehow shifting. At 25 seconds, it briefly becomes red before switching back to a more normal looking color. Those strange lights look too weird to be LED tail lights to me. And if you look closely, shortly before it descends soundlessly behind the trees, it actually turns bright green. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Purgatory Adventures. This redditor wrote, Check out this crazy scream we captured while spending the night in a haunted location in Saskatchewan, Canada. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Yeah. Kick it again. Yeah, I can see the lights. See the lights, Kate? There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Lady Mania wrote, I barely hear a scream. I only hear regular noises and the two people talking. Well, Corn TJE wrote, Sounds like a cat in my opinion. Did you hear the scream the uploader is talking about? If so, what do you think is causing it? Let me know in the comments. Okay, there is actually no wind. That's actually nice. Though. Scary noises are coming from the end of a dark alleyway. Scary noises that sound more like a creature than a human. Um, right, I don't want to go down you've there. Got, you've got night vision. You go down. I have to get the night vision. You just press the button on the side of the camera. Oh my... It's someone's telly. Pete, it's someone's telly. He turns on the night vision just in time to catch the flash of two large eyes the size of dinner plates and maybe seven or eight feet from the ground. They call out into the darkness and are greeted by a snarling creature that is finally caught on video. First, the eyes are visible once more at 1 minute and 17 seconds, moments before it comes at them. And right before they drop the camera to run, there is a blur of a mysterious creature on all fours running them down. Something is haunting the lobby of England's Brighton Museum, according to those who work there. This creepy moment caught on CCTV video at 3am could be the paranormal proof they need to be taken seriously. The camera captures a bright light and then a souvenir mysteriously falls to the ground with no one near. Kind of like a ghost moved the object employees would later say. I think the quote unquote mysterious light could be a glass object reflecting light as it falls over. Maybe the shelf is a little unlevel. Maybe an employee or a visitor put it too close to the edge. I am 50-50 on this one and we'll be sure to keep an eye out for other paranormal events caught on camera at this possibly haunted museum. Bree Calderon gets an alert from his home security system. The motion sensor camera has caught some weird things on tape over his table. Meanwhile, a small light is by the door that he can't explain. According to Bree, the ghost is moving towards an urn off camera that contains the cremated remains of his grandmother. That would be terrifying, but there's no way to tell if any part of this story is actually true. With that said, the strange mist might actually be some small picture distortion, but this visual glitch wouldn't be enough to set off the motion detector. Basically, I can't fully explain this video, so this might actually be paranormal. YouTuber Darklife says this was the worst EHF find he's ever discovered in an abandoned house. Dennis explains that he didn't bring his tent, so he won't be spending the night. Later inside, a spirit confirms that she is there. The spirit says that she remembers her relatives. As Dennis is standing in the dark, he accidentally steps on a hornet's nest. Opa. Yeah, papa.
He leaves a camera down there instead so as not to be stung, but something spins his camera around. I don't know what did that, but it was not a hornet. Even though this snake wasn't on a plane, Samuel L. Jackson would probably not appreciate its presence on this train platform. Tweeted by Triple G RTO, he writes, Being a train operator for NYCT Subway, I thought I have seen it all, but this can't be real. Oh, it's real, all right. This feet long snake, which has been identified as a non venomous black eastern rat snake, was spotted on a subway platform in New York City on August 10, 2020. The species can grow up to seven feet and is native to the East Coast region, from Connecticut down to South Carolina and west to Kansas. It feeds on rodents, which may be why it's lurking in a New York subway station. As the enormous snake weaves slowly across the platform, a commuter stands not far off, waiting for her train's arrival. The MTA addressed the situation in a tweet writing, this is a new one for us. They were investigating the matter and aren't aware how it got there, although the reptile doesn't appear to have an owner, so may have just been out for a midday stroll or slither. Still, I'm sure many New Yorkers wouldn't want to share the L train with this scaly passenger. A CCTV gym camera captures this slow-moving white object at 6 in the morning. The strange shape appears to float in midair and even slightly changes form at times. Paranormal or not, experts have been ultimately unable to determine the source of this fluttering figure. I guess it might be a piece of lint or something that got stuck on the lens of the camera, but the way it slowly sways without going anywhere makes me think that this really could be a classic haunting. Posted by Footage Finder 57 to the found footage subreddit, you'll probably rethink your next camping trip after watching this piece of found footage. A group of people are hanging out around a campfire watching videos on a big screen and chatting. One of them notes that their friend Alexis went to the bathroom and has been gone for a very long time. They decide to investigate. As they're walking through the forest, a scream pierces the night. They start running towards it, shouting out her name. In the middle of the forest, they come across a strange teepee made of logs. When they peer inside, there's a person tied to a tree stump. And then... Whatever four-armed or legged creature has captured Alexis comes after them too. The group screams. The camera is dropped and no more is heard. <laughs> Redditor Tribal Transfusion 311 pulled a still shot of the creature. This is what we're dealing with. Although the origins of the video are unknown, this found footage is certainly one of the best quality if faked, and one of the most terrifying if not. A YouTuber who goes by Anne posted this video back in 2014 of her sleepwalking activity at night. Using a webcam, she is able to record herself night after night jolting up while still being completely asleep. People have debated the authenticity of this video in the comments, but Anne swears she still does this every night to this day. I genuinely believe this footage is real because sleepwalking is a well-documented behavior. Anne says she finds the footage hilarious, but there's something certainly chilling about that blank stare directly into the camera as she's 100% asleep. And we are hurrying. Luckily our house has sprinklers. When it was built, we've only been in this house for a week and a half. We're getting everything that's important. And we're getting out of here. This scary GoPro video sounds like the final moments of a family fleeting in terror from their haunted home, but that's not what's happening. Midnight is when Tyson and Haley get a phone call that they have to evacuate fast. Not from something paranormal, but a situation just as terrifying nonetheless. Flames are tearing up the mountainside and heading towards their home. Now they have to keep their oldest son occupied and unafraid while not panicking themselves trying their best to navigate around closed roads and other hazards. You can tell the father wants to scream, but he doesn't want to freak their kids out. So this is how he talks. That's not good at all, huh, buddy? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I want to go up there. What will happen if the fire comes to our car? 
we would turn around and drive away. He's definitely a good father for not scaring his children, but the reality of the situation is, at least from what I can tell, that they are low on gas and stuck in traffic without much control over where they go next. Police are frantically trying to direct traffic and stay in communication with the fire department to guide cars away from the blazing inferno, and it isn't looking too good for them. Eventually, they break away and find a moment to collect themselves at the gas pump. As they watch the inferno in the distance, adrenaline finally wearing off, it occurs to them just how close to being goners they really were. I've never had that feeling or adrenaline rush before. That was crazy. I'm really glad this wasn't the family's final moments caught on GoPro and hope they have some good memories ahead to help balance out this horrifying event. This quick clip, a group of kids are playing soccer when a strange and mysterious creature decides to crash their game. Watch closely as a black object approaches them from the right. The poor quality of this video makes it hard to tell exactly what this creature is. It's very small and the way it shuffles side to side does not look natural at all. It's very difficult, if not impossible, to make out a face or even any limbs. It could be a wild animal, but the way that the children and even the dog all run away in absolute horror has many people convinced that this creature could be paranormal or even extraterrestrial. Even when you slow down the video and zoom in on the creature, it's hard to tell what it could be. I personally have no idea what it is, and I definitely like to read your best guess in the comments below. Everyone who owns a dog knows that they can sense things we humans don't. Posted by Redditor ChewyBone02, he writes, I think my dog had a crisis, and he isn't wrong. The video shows two dogs standing on a day sofa, looking out the window. The bigger one really starts to panic, its legs pushing the sofa so far from the window that he's stretched pretty impressively until he absolutely can't stretch anymore and pops down to the floor. Meanwhile, a number of orbs appear throughout the clip, drifting across the room. Is something outside spooking these dogs? Or is it something paranormal inside? After all, those orbs certainly point towards the latter. If only these dogs could talk and let us know what the answer truly is. A disturbing shadow is settling over this room. Posted to the ghost subreddit, Kenton Bryant Music writes, My buddy had his motion sensor go off for this. It never goes off unless his dog walks in front of the camera. The only problem? The dog was locked in the bedroom at the time. This was captured on his friend's wise security camera in February of 2020. The video shows a darkened room with a light source at one end. A dark shadow sweeps into view, covering the light source briefly before disappearing from sight. The strangest part about this is that the shadow seems not to touch the ground. Is it flying? Redditor Gucci the God says that it could be lights from a passing car, coupled with the low light capture of the camera. But the OP nixes this idea, saying there's no window there and the driveway is private. Some in the comments think this is legit paranormal footage. This really looks like a shadow figure to me. What do you think? Any other explanations? A person with an interest in graveyards is casually filming when they accidentally pick up a bizarre and possibly dangerous watcher. You can see a blurry shadow as it takes a few steps out from the other side of a wall, but the person recording doesn't seem to notice. It wasn't until much later that they reviewed the video and found the hidden lurker in the distance. I personally think that this could be CGI because the resolution of the video seems to have been lowered, which is always a sign of amateur effects. Then again, the person recording may have been using a cheap camera. Or maybe this is an older video. A large white creature has been constantly creeping around the yard of a YouTuber named Sans for a long time now and no one knows what it is. The latest sighting happens during broad daylight and his camera is able to pick up more detail than ever before. 
You can see here that the creature is not very big, roughly around the same size of a nearby dog, and judging from this dog's behavior, I'd say this is clearly a real creature and not one of his friends wearing a costume. If you need more proof that this isn't a person, watch how it scratches its head with its foot at a weird angle. No human would be able to kick that fast. I would say that this is a rabbit, but I don't really see any ears and the legs look distinctly human when it walks. Tell me what animal you think this is. Until I get a better explanation, I will continue thinking that this is probably a humanoid of some kind. Split Sides published this hypnotically creepy video, Olho de Agua River in Bonito, Brazil. In February of 2018, the area had experienced heavy rain, submerging the jungle, and allowing for these beautiful and somewhat unnerving views of a mysterious underwater forest. You can see tree stumps, branches, and bridges submerged. According to the video, flooding at this level has happened at least three times within the last 16 years. By the day's end, the water receded to a normal level, but it does make you wish you could experience something like this. There's something very beautiful and still about the mysterious atmosphere the flood creates. While this doesn't look like your classic unidentified flying object, it certainly is one. Published by Arte Morbid in April of 2022, this scary video captured something hovering over a street in Mexico City. Security camera footage shows a dark object floating down the center of the street about a foot above the pavement. While the uploader thought it was a Mylar balloon at first, a closer look had him second guessing. He notes that it has a shadow and sometimes moves in a slight rotation. Some of the comments still think it's a Mylar balloon or a drone. Others think it's CGI. One commenter says it looks like it's morphing in and out. Do you have any other theories? I think there's certainly something mysterious going on here. The Rolling Hills Asylum in East Bethany, New York is weird. Really weird. So weird that it's classified as a paranormal research center now for ghost hunters. Liam Neville is exploring the haunted asylum when something strange and maybe paranormal catches his attention. This is what he's caught on camera and what's been haunting his memories ever since. There's definitely somebody down here. There's a light coming from that. Unless there's a light down there. Whoa. Yo. Played in slow motion and you'll see that his flashlight is off when they see the mysterious light in the hall. Liam and his friend are simultaneously frozen in place with fear and ecstatic. I saw a figure at the end of the hall. So did I! Oh wow. my I definitely God. saw that. Yo, you saw that? Yeah. They claim to see a shadow figure in the hallway and I think I might see it. 59 seconds into the video. What do you think? Yo. Yo. The story of Sally in the Wood goes something like this. Located outside Bath and Somerset, there's a road that passes into the woodland of Brown's Folly, which locals refuse to drive down after dark due to the terrifying legend surrounding it. Known by locals as Sally in the Wood, it is said that no birds can be heard chirping through this stretch of the forest as a girl has her life taken there and now haunts the place. Some say they've heard a screaming child in the dark forest, and some have seen a full-bodied apparition of a girl racing into the road at night. The legends are all over the place about Sally in the woods. According to some, Sally was an 18th century gypsy girl who was held captive in a tower where she perished. The website Wiltshire Paranormal claims that this story is entirely fictional and that the name Sally in the Woods more likely came from a battle that occurred at Brown's Folly in 1643. As Sally is slang for scrimmish, this could very well be true. However, the Bathford Society claims that Sally was an actual person, but not the only one who passed away in a tower. This legend claims that Sally was a witch, living in a hut in the woods. Local records put Sally's passing at the age of 100, although that wouldn't really explain her appearance as a young girl ghost, unless Sally the witch had the ability to appear youthful. 
Regardless of what you choose to believe, the generational legend of Sally in the Woods lives on and the resulting fear can be felt throughout this video, published to YouTube by the abandoned prepper in March of 2020. Examining various parts of the house up close, the abandoned prepper wanders through this haunted place solo. Some parts of the house appear deeply aged, while others recall the more recent past. There's an old piano, a strange lock on the door, and an old photo box in the basement that appears as though they're from another century, but other parts of the home look as though they're from the 60s or 70s. Prepper says that he can hear water running and regularly hears strange noises. Shortly after entering, there is a definite sound of glasses clinking about upstairs while he is downstairs. My days, this is massive. I'm getting a bit scared now. The f Hello? Prepper calls out to alert anyone else exploring the house to his presence. He also said the house has recently become a hotspot for urban explorers. He returns to the first floor and then upstairs to the second. He keeps hearing strange noises throughout. Birds are chirping and the sound of running water. What? Someone's flooding the basement. He compares the house to Amityville and says it definitely gives him bad vibes. While he explores the adjacent house, at one point he enters a room. Notice there's no blue ball here. He heads upstairs and there's a loud sound of something wooden slamming or falling down. When he returns to that same room later, there's a blue ball in the middle of it. The call is coming from inside the house. He also finally discovers where the sound of running water was coming from. The basement of the house is being flooded. There's a hose passing down there, so it looks like it was done intentionally. As he's getting ready to head out of the home, he turns the corner to descend the stairs. That's when you hear the strike of a piano key. Off. Hello? Well, at the same time the hallway light bulb is swinging back and forth, he races down to catch whoever struck the cord, but there's no one. Finally outside, he turns back to look at the dark shell of a house. You can literally feel the creepiness shed away from you. When you can command a door to open and close, you may just have The Gift, published by the Scottish Ghost Company. In February of 2022, this investigation of an industrial complex turned super creepy. When the investigator's commands were granted, the pair is alone in the warehouse aside from the ghosts. You can hear them communicating via the spirit box in the adjacent hangar throughout the video. The pair approaches a door and asks the spirit to open it if he or she is still with them. Can you open the door please if you're still with us? In answer, the door slowly swings open. A moment later, when asked to close the door, the spirit acquiesces, slamming the door shut. Really impressed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Many in the comments call this activity mind-blowing and wonder if it's real. Is this a portal to another world? Step on through if you dare. Can you open the door please if you're still with us? Oh my god. Oh my god. Sometimes those abandoned buildings that some urban explorers enter are not entirely abandoned. In fact, in some cases, they're the stomping grounds for the occult. Published to YouTube by Lego Papa TV in March of 2020, Papa was likely not expecting to be chased down by a hooded stranger performing a ritual in a house where lives have been taken, but that's exactly what happened. He writes, this is probably the scariest moment of my life I ever had. When moments like this happens, out of nowhere you put yourself in a situation that your mind goes blank. Papa explores the dark dwelling, which certainly gives off an aura that something terrible happened here. The house is utterly destroyed, littered with garbage, ransacked, covered with graffiti, and generally torn apart. 
As many in the comments point out, there were wet footprints at the doorstep, which may indicate that somebody recently entered the house, or was in fact there, or was still, in fact, there at the same time. And soon, Papa discovers he is not alone. As he wanders throughout the house, he hears noises. I know she stepped upstairs. Hello, anybody here? He even sees a flashlight as someone searches for him while he hides out in a bathroom. For some reason, despite all this, he continues exploring the house, ending up in the basement. But when he hears distinctive footsteps overhead, he hightails it out of there. Likely because it dawns on him that if he was to remain in the basement, he'd be completely trapped. It seems he escaped just in time. As he runs off into the woods, he glances back to capture a hooded person on camera, standing on the porch steps. If he had left a minute later, who knows what might have happened. Powerful Pancake is the name of a YouTuber who decides to ring his neighbor's doorbell and then run away. He hides around the side of the house just in time, but his friend behind the trash can is not so lucky. Powerful Pancake doubles back to grab his camera and the chase is on. As you can see here, the neighbor comes charging down the driveway with a bat over his head, ready for who knows what. They barely make it to their car in time and speed off. I think this video is probably real because they seem to actually be full of adrenaline, and that is not easy to fake but I'd like to get your opinion. Number 10. Two YouTubers see a suspicious red balloon tied around the grate of an old sewer tunnel and start to explore. It isn't long before their flashlight shines upon someone standing rigidly before them. No freaking... No! No, 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 no! The sewer lurker chases them down the entire length of the tunnel at full speed, and they barely make it out alive. Listen to this part and tell me if you think the fear in their voices sounds real, because it does to me. Oh, Franco! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Get out. I hit my head! Who or what that was remains a mystery. There has been no update made since this video was uploaded. A family was reportedly taken from this scary abandoned house, and these ghost hunters are here to investigate. Published by Dark Arts TV in August of 2021, they first come across a photograph of creepy porcelain dolls. They then open the door to a room before heading outside. While outside, they hear an unexplained sound. So I got a big torch on now. Yo, the house is banged. Another happens shortly after, scaring the crew. Com for sponsoring this video, right? Back inside, while one of them is waiting for the other near the stairs, the front door opens. Later, they hear voices, and it sounds like someone is at the door. When they ask the spirit to show itself, they hear it again. Can you show yourself? Outside again, they speak to the spirit through the spirit box, and he tells them what he's ready for. They later hear male voices, not through the spirit box, but nearby. Man's voice, yeah. Two people talking. Yeah, I'm turning this off, man. They decide it's time to leave before they get taken to. A YouTuber named Musafir Vlogs is biking through India late at night when something causes his bike to stop working. They later claim during this part to have felt a spirit close by, and upon starting their bike, heard a voice. I'm not sure if I hear it or not, but since this video has a lot of likes and so many people who claim to hear it, maybe I'm just not listening correctly. I think I might hear a gulping noise at 7 minutes and 18 seconds. <laughs> Black! 
Almost like someone taking their final breaths underwater. Tell me what you hear. The Martinez twins are both excited about moving into a new house with an old friend. They are arguing over which rooms belong to who, when one of them notices a locked door leading to an unexplored part of the house. None of them have a key, so they pick the lock and step into a plain room with an empty chair. The old chair gives off a creepy vibe. It must have belonged to one of the previous owners. They are talking about what to do with it, when suddenly they notice an attic entrance that needs to be checked out. They forget about the chair for now and climb a wooden ladder into a darkened attic, even though the insulation is making them cough, and one false step could send them falling through the ceiling. The group is determined to get to the other side and see what they can find. A small box is waiting for them at the end of their crawl space, but they don't open it up right away, choosing to look at a pile of old magazines from the 1920s instead. When they turn their attention back to the box, they find this old mysterious broken thing inside. There's like a toy, bro. It works from here. Wait, wait, wait. The others try to stop him, but it's too late. An eerie song fills the empty, dark attic space, perhaps for the first time in many years. That's creepy. Bro, you want to hold it? Oh wow, that's creepy. There's an old Bible even farther back in the attic, but when the music box starts playing a few more notes all by itself, they decide they've seen enough and leave quick. I stop it. All of these things seem like the perfect indications of a classic haunting that I certainly would want nothing to do with, but I'm curious what you think. I'm not sure where this video was taken, but it looks like an open air seafood market. A giant fish on the end is bigger than any of the others and has been attracting onlookers all day. If this person had simply purchased it or moved on like everyone else, then this video would never need to be analyzed by me. Instead, they tap it twice with the corner of their smartphone like it's the tire of a used car. <laughs> The second tap is close to the eye, which I think triggers a nervous system response. It was completely motionless before and its gills were not moving, so I don't think it was truly alive. Still, they should have kept their hands off the merchandise. I wonder if the store owners made them pay. Anyway, here it looks like the fish actually manages to get the phone into its without a doubt slimy mouth. So they should probably just give up and get a new phone along with a new dinner. The Three Haunted Explorers is the name of a paranormal YouTube channel that doesn't need to go exploring very far to find something spooky. That's because a scary ghost is already haunting their room, or so they claim, and this is the best paranormal evidence they've caught on camera so far. They set up a night vision camera. Soon they've caught the ghost moving stuff like cabinet drawers. Part of the drawers aren't shown, so the ghost hunters might be moving it off camera. But just when I was starting to doubt whether this scary video was real, more objects begin moving on their own. On a table behind them, caught on camera is the reflection of a possible ghost moving across the surface. They put everything back in place and wait. That's when the ghost knocks all of the objects over once again by moving a chair. The swivel chair continues to move on its own as if a ghost is pushing it. At 33 seconds, a mysterious shadow even walks in front of the camera. A ghost. The paranormal explorers would later say, although it could have belonged to them. Stuff keeps falling over by itself, which is creepy, but they could be crawling across the floor to fake the paranormal activity. I hope they make more creepy follow-up videos from a better angle to show us more of the room when it happens. A YouTuber named Vcroc and his friends attract the attention of an angry local, a man who is known for taking his bad temper out on others. He starts by throwing rocks at Vcroc, though judging from the small clang they make against the fence, I doubt they are large enough to cause any real damage. <laughs> Soon he returns with even larger stones that he has gathered from the parking lot across the street. He is filled with so much rage that even his free hand is balled into a fist. I'm honestly not sure who is to blame here, or who even started this whole event, but at one point a fast food employee comes out and seems to take Jeremy's side. 
You can see Jeremy appears to be the one trying to walk away. Later in the day, they meet again, and this time V-Croc appears to be alone. Jeremy starts to walk away at first, but then he decides to get revenge for earlier. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I think V-Croc might be playing around, but Jeremy appears very serious and possibly not in the right head as he charges forward. Judging from the extreme anger in his voice, I have little doubt he would have tried his best to hurt this YouTuber had he not managed to run away. Here's a vintage ghost video taken back when most people did not know how to edit anything at all. A ghost hunter travels to an abandoned house in Virginia on a road in the woods with no street lights and no neighbors. A CCTV system is set up, which looks old fashioned by today's standards but was state of the art back in 2002. And at 8.13 at night, this pale ghost in the window is caught on camera. The ghost in the window is not the investigator. He's standing behind the camera adjusting it at the time. According to him, this window is seven feet off the ground with no way for anyone to get up there in the first place. I was thinking it was a passing car, but he says the street was quiet as always, so maybe it was an apparition after all. Posted to the r slash ghost video subreddit, a scary figure was captured on redditor Ale Oops Friends Surveillance Feed at around 1 in the morning. The video shows a dark and empty yard. At first, nothing appears unusual, but watch the back doorway. About 30 seconds in, a pale figure can be seen walking from left to right. You can see it outlined in the dark doorway, but if you look closely, it actually shows up seconds before, appearing semi-transparent as it walks past the exterior wall and turns into the doorway, disappearing inside the house. While well, some in the comments think a genuine spirit has been captured, Others suggest it's a combination of a prowler and a distortion from the cheap night vision camera. Honestly though, either is terrifying. Chris and Joe from YouTube channel Sees Crazy Crossroads are exploring an abandoned plantation mansion with a truly dark history and it's about to come to life. Inside, Joe thinks he hears something. I thought I heard something. Again, I thought I heard something. Maybe it's the wind blowing through the house. As they continue their tour through the house, they hear whispers in the wind. Listen closely. Lots of wind blowing through here, guys. Did you hear it too? Chris also heard something slam upstairs. This place is freaking bad. I heard something else bang. It's too, I mean, distinctive. It sounded like something slammed. And this was perhaps the most audible noise captured by the guys. Hey, what was that? Chris, what was that? Something just fell. Something fell. I, I moved that door, but... Okay, I don't think it was the door. I just heard something go clink. <laughs> As they wander apart, Joe hears some more loud noise from the other room. First, I'm gonna check through everything. Chris, you okay? I just heard something fall again. I don't know. That was weird, man. The team is then not so subtly told to leave. I welcome you. Back upstairs, the guys think they hear someone enter the house. I think someone walked in the house. That's true. <laughs> what is that? While using a paranormal device, they hear another loud, distant bang. What was that, man? That was a that was a loud bang again. 
They go to check out what it is, and this happens. Dude, this is where we heard the noise. I, this door just what moved, is and that. No, that's awesome. Dude, these doors, you both of them. In? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I hope not, but it could be. Do you think this is just the wind? Show me your reel. It's moving. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what? That's awesome. My camera's about to die. All right, so guys. Although it could be, I feel like this is too on point to be anything but paranormal. It seems like whatever is here is responding to Chris and Joe's commands. This tells me they want to make their presence known. Urban exploration videos in abandoned places are perfect settings for ghost investigators to explore, but sometimes they find more paranormal activity than they are ready for, and that's when their paranormal investigation becomes mysterious, unexplained, and most of all, really creepy. This YouTuber is exploring an abandoned building when they hear some potentially paranormal poltergeist activity coming from upstairs. These are all the staff bathrooms. Here's a bathroom. As they slowly climb the steps, the first thing they notice is how much darker it is up here. The last thing they notice is the poltergeist that comes straight at them and then disappears. <laughs> Absolutely nothing is there at 1 minute and 24 seconds, and then you see its head, and then something out of my nightmares is dragging itself across the floor. This young YouTuber had just begun her channel when something horrific put a stop to it. Shared by YouTube channel EXTV, this scary video is currently trending. In the Brazilian YouTube community, the YouTuber had experienced paranormal happenings in her home before, including sounds on the rooftop, mysterious lights, and moans in the house, but she had yet to capture anything on camera. Until now, as she introduces herself and her channel, something else introduces itself behind her. Tres. Mike. After the camera goes dark, the monster escapes to the rooftop. But it doesn't stop there. What is this demon? It looks like something nightmares are made of, and maybe it is, but just like your nightmares, it isn't real. After digging further, I found the video's original source is Nicaraguan CGI channel JJPD Producciones, although this may just be CGI. I don't know how this channel mined and illustrated something straight from my nightmares. Archie Dennis is the name of a Philadelphia man who lives in what he believes is an extremely haunted home. He and his family have been dealing with whatever's down there for more than seven years. It's all well documented on their YouTube channel. I encourage you to watch all the evidence for yourself, but for now, Chills has picked out some videos to help get you started, ones that make me the most curious. This early encounter takes place on May 17th, 2013, back when he was less used to it and more afraid. Arky is looking down the steps when something on his spirit box encourages him to go in there, followed by a mysterious phrase in another language that I need your help to translate. You are demon. You are a demon. Arky says down the steps. It sounds like a statement, but it's actually a question. Something he has always wanted to know. It never says anything back, but this time it does show a sign that yes, it is one indeed. The light turns on behind him. 
even though he is nowhere near the switch, and it continues to do so as he films in stunned amazement. Who are you? Say your name. Suddenly, his cats rush up the steps like they are running away from something, though I suspect they could have been chasing each other. He crosses the room at 1 minute and 48 seconds. The lights seem to move on their own while an orb also comes close. It can't be him moving the lights because one hand is on the camera and the other is flipping the switch to no avail. I was thinking that maybe somebody was controlling the real light switch from the other room, but at 1 minute and 58 seconds the light seems to glow even brighter than before and he sounds noticeably upset as he steps away. Oh, man. Oh. His fear has probably emboldened the spirit and things have gone way too far if you ask me. He should leave it by now, but day after day, our key continues to ask the spirit if it was a demon whenever he thinks it's near pestering it with the same question for weeks on end. Finally, on December 16th, 2014, it gives a clear response, and I'm talking more than a simple yes or no. The way it answers in a full sentence exactly 5 seconds after being asked is all about the paranormal proof I need to conclude this is real. But I haven't even shown you the weirdest video yet. By October 12th of 2019, the spirit has moved out of the basement and seems fixated with his children. The EMF meter is relatively normal until it passes over his crib, and I think we might be seeing a possession in real time. 2.9, that's for my baby. 3.7, 3.9, 4.0, 4.8. We're going to nine, nine. Oh man, this 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 is incredible. And his newborn baby is not the only one affected. The spirit seems to hover around his daughter as well. The way it appears from behind, goes to the side, and then appears to admire her is going way too far if you ask me. I don't know why Arky hasn't moved out yet, but I suspect that he may be strangely obsessed with studying it, and at this point possibly even has become sentimental. Maybe it has gotten into his mind much like it has his family, and convinced him to let it stay. This final CCTV video is when Arky gets all of the evidence that he needs. I don't know if this is editing or not, but one day he is organizing his closet when a shadow figure stands over him and makes him cower in fear. If this last video is real, which I think it could be given everything else that's happened, then I guess it proves talking to a demon for over five years is, in fact, going way too far. A ghost hunting YouTube channel called Spartan Hunters 2 explores the narrow stone corridors of the old Paulding County Jail in Ohio for any signs of the afterlife. As soon as they turn the corner, they hear something that sends shivers down my spine. Did you hear that? What was that? I don't know. What wow. An anguished scream cries out from deep within the jail complex, which I'm sure most of you heard, but did you hear the creepy laughter that follows the scream? Listen really closely and you can make out the faint echoes of laughter bouncing off the walls. It happens right after he says, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Experts have yet to debunk a YouTube channel claiming to break the very boundaries of space and time. The channel features no less than eight videos taking place over the course of a year, which focus on a strange glowing device. The device apparently uses different tones and frequencies to experiment with interdimensional travel. Here you can see the first real signs of success from a video in 2017. There's fracture. Some sort of molecular rift opens between his very eyes and looks very convincing. 
The rift appears to move very realistically with the camera and does not look to be CGI. After a few months of research and careful adjustments, he finally figures out the correct combination of frequencies to open the rift wider than ever before. Again, nothing about this looks like CGI to me. The way the rift moves with the camera would have been very hard to digitize frame by frame in my opinion, especially when the camera goes out of focus at the 1 minute 50 second mark. Soon the edges of the rift grow thin, and another world emerges. If this video is to be believed, then what you could be staring into is an alternate timeline of our own world. So far, video editing experts have yet to disprove this video, so let me know if you think it's fake or real based on what you've seen here. Jesse Sims and her friend use a Ouija board only to discover they are surrounded by three spirits. She claims to get dizzy and asks if it's a good spirit she's talking to. The spirit gives them a negative response, so Jesse fights her panic and asks, Is this Zozo? The pointer stays over no, it's not Zozo after all. Still, they both have a bad feeling so they decide to ask, What do you want from us? Shut up. You, the ghost responds. A short while later, Jesse's nose begins to gush red. James Parr records his young nephew as he shrieks at something he sees on the wall. This continues for quite some time. It's hard to tell what the child is thinking, but it seems like a combination of nervousness and excitement. More than once, he appears to back away, as if he is fearful of something that is nearby. The child does seem to be completely fascinated by an otherwise blank wall, which is strange but I am not so sure that this video is paranormal. The kid may just be playing games with his own shadow. What do you think is going on here? Blurry Faces is a YouTuber exploring two mysterious schools standing next to each other. They were both built around World War II and have been abandoned for a long time. Everything starts out normal until Blurry Faces is exploring an upstairs room full of classroom furniture. After that, something seems to be stalking them at every turn. The strange banging noises only grow louder and more persistent as time wears on. I will give them credit for being courageous and sticking around for so long. This is the event that finally makes them lose their composure and scramble. This time, Blurry Faces bravely tests the weight of the door himself and finds that it's way too heavy to swing open with such ease. You can tell he is putting a lot more effort into opening and closing the door than whatever just opened it moments earlier. Tell me what's written in Spanish across the door and if it has any significance to what could be possibly lurking inside. While camping out at this haunted castle, a rustling is heard in the forest. Published by Exploring with Fighters, this YouTuber is exploring the abandoned ruins of Liverpool Castle. Being hundreds of years old, these castle ruins are bound to be haunted, and they're about to give the explorer a taste of fear. As he tries to sleep, his dog is alerted to a rustling sound outside their tent. What's she doing at Goose Impressions? She started doing a goose impressions because there's a weird noise coming towards us. <laughs> Noting that an owl has kept him up all night, the explorer was wide awake already, and even more so when the mysterious noise seems to be coming toward them. An owl has kept me awake most of the night. While well, the suspense builds, nothing reveals itself, leaving us to wonder what was lurking outside the explorer's tent. Was it man or beast? Or something else? A woman with an octopus on her face tries to laugh it off, despite her extreme fear. What does she say here? <laughs> 
It's mercifully hanging out of her mouth for now, but if it moves in any further, then it would be reaching down her throat. She is one wrong move away from having her oxygen cut off. Its tentacles squirm around her eyes and across her tongue as she screams and pulls the creature free with one last burst of strength. The octopus itself looks like it came straight out of the ocean. I can only imagine how disgusting the lingering aftertaste must have been. Jeff Wesley is a paramedic whose YouTube channel gives us a glimpse into the frantic lives of emergency medical service technicians everywhere. Today, he must drive an ambulance full speed into the heavy rains, making his job more difficult than usual. The roads are slick and the driver visibility is very low. Every intersection is a serious gamble. Sometimes the roadways grow narrow and give cars a little difficulty pulling over. At one point, some local wildlife even veers into the ambulance's path at the last minute. Oh, come on, Doc. Jesus. <laughs> I missed it! I didn't hit it! <laughs> Despite all of this, Jeff Wesley gets to the scene quickly and is able to provide help. I just want to give a shout out to Jeff Wesley and all of the other EMS workers like him for their courage and service, as this video clearly demonstrates. It's 3am when a YouTuber named Spencer Smith goes exploring an abandoned mental asylum that looks haunted as can be. Most of the entrances have been sealed off and it seems like their paranormal investigation is over before it even has a chance to go wrong. But that's when they hear scary noises in the darkness. That was not a dog. That is not a dog, listen. That's not a dog. Well, we're savages, let's go. Mate. Oh no, bro, oh my god. I don't have the slightest clue what that animal could be, but I don't think it was a dog, so maybe it is supernatural. Anyway, they eventually find a doorway that's in complete shambles before they get a chance to step through. The camera goes out of focus for a few scary moments before they hear what I agree sounds like a footstep going up the nearby stairs. Stairs which clearly nobody is standing on. Is that a footstep then? I heard that. Is that an actual footstep? I heard that shit. They step through the doorway and are too busy investigating from room to room to realize they've already caught a ghost face in the window. At 12 minutes and 37 seconds, it's a scary face looking down into the right. More of a demon sighting caught on tape than a ghost face in the window. They only see one apparition during this moment, but I actually see two. The other is a man peering in through the bottom left corner of the window. You can see his facial features most clearly during this moment, in which you can make out a sharp nose, thin lips, and no visible eyes. They record the rest of the asylum without much incident, and soon find themselves standing at a different entrance than the one they came through. They look down and notice they've almost fallen into a hole that leads into a drainage system, and as they laugh, something scary happens in return. <laughs> it's hard to hear at first, but it seems they've actually caught another unexplained footstep on camera shortly before they ran away, this time coming from within the drain. Ivan Dragunov stands at the top of the stairs, leading down to his basement and says something in a language I can't understand. Try to translate what he says, and more importantly, tell me if you can hear a brief whisper echoing all around him. Okay, Tokima, Duhoe. At the bottom of the stairs, something unseen fills Ivan with dread, and he can't seem to catch his breath. He tries to run, but fear overrides the signal and his feet stand still. The room is cast into a heavy silence until whatever is watching him finally moves forward. <sighs> Uh, 
You never get to see it, but whatever was down there sounds quite large and coming from the other side of the room, so it's very unlikely that Ivan was making the noise himself. Oh, and something tells me he won't be finding the courage to change the light bulb down there for a long time. You're never alone on an amusement park ride. This phantom will make sure of it. Published to YouTube by Eli Zix in September 2015, the following footage will have you looking twice. The clip shows three women and a man riding the pirate ship at an amusement park, swinging back and forth at the beginning of the clip. There are clearly three women there, but as the video ends, the third woman on the end has completely vanished. Where did she go? Did she fall off the ride? Disappear somehow? Or was she ever really there at all? Some in the comments claim that this girl passed away on this ride two years prior to when this video was filmed. This is all hearsay, but who knows? The truth has to be out there somewhere. A redditor named SwiftFool41 starts freaking everyone out when he started posting his porch cam videos on the advice subreddit. He had a bad feeling about a random late night visitor and wanted to know what others thought he should do. The stranger gets out and knocks on the door after waiting for over two minutes in their car. He rings the doorbell and says something about a minute later, but he's looking down so it's hard to hear. The uploader of this video really wants to know what he says. Then he says something about being on the porch to someone on the phone, maybe just a friend, or perhaps an accomplice. I'm on the porch right now. Reddit dismisses this as strange but not alarming. Maybe it was just somebody with a wrong address or something. But then, five days later, another porch cam video has them freaking out. Three more cars pull up late at night and no one gets out for a really long time. Over 17 minutes to be precise. What they do, it's a different stranger than before. And what he does next is odd. He knocks on the door and immediately counts a fat wad of cash. What is he expecting to buy out here? And why roll three deep to get it? The uploader doesn't answer the door, and Reddit has been freaking out ever since. This was over two years ago and the mystery has yet to be solved, or even updated for that matter, so who knows what the outcome was. This scary Reddit video was posted by a user named Naval Court, who says he caught a spirit giving his friend's child a hard time while it's trying to rest. First the child stands up as if he sees somebody enter, or maybe he's even called over. He slowly looks up at something much taller than him, and as soon as he lays his eyes upon it, he falls with force. He sits off and shakes it off, and then something flies by overhead. He even looks over his shoulder and sees it. Some people think the kid is just acting silly, as children tend to do, and maybe even shaking his head to try and stay awake. But I agree with Naval Court that this is weird and could be a ghost like he thought. Sav and Jack records what they claim is a genuine 3 a.m. paranormal encounter. Sav wakes up after a bad dream with a strange urge to check on Jack. She says she is feeling some weird energy when suddenly picking up on this weird energy. Her phone picks up an eerie entity that disappears upon being discovered. Watch this part and tell me if you think it's editing. It's a little suspicious how she centers the camera perfectly on the area where the ghost is to appear moments before it happens, so some people think it might not be real. When Joey Salvatore and his friends learn that their entire neighborhood is rumored to be haunted, they go to the local cemetery and try to get something on tape. They don't really find much and eventually come back home, but it looks like something found them and managed to attach itself to a friend named Roger. Now he is standing motionless with his back to them in a dark room and they are too freaked out to do anything more than secretly record his reflection in a mirror. After a while he sits down and stops moving completely, so they decide to put Roger in his room and check on him later. Roger is nowhere to be found, at least not at first. Wait, turn the light on. <gasps> what the f***? Roger! I'm the they are totally freaking out when Roger comes wandering back into the room completely fine, wondering what had happened. 
The group feels unsafe at this point and has no choice but to send Roger on his way. Eventually, Roger says that he was just playing a joke on them, but it's unclear if he really means it or if he is just in denial. Could there be spirits all around us, just out of sight? Posted to the r slash paranormal encounters subreddit. One blueberry 336 asks, is this an orb? In the video, her puppy is sitting in his cage on high alert. He starts whining and lays down, then he starts howling. Mid howl, a light orb flies by, somehow seeming to alert the dog to its presence. The dog stops his howl and looks right at it. Some in the comments think the pup really does seem to be startled by the orb and think it could possibly be paranormal, but others think it's a puppy and a flying bug. What do you think it is? Remember, animals have a better sense of the paranormal than humans. It's the middle of the night and Anna Grace and keeps hearing heavy thumping sounds coming from the hallway. She spends a full minute walking around to make sure that everybody is asleep, which they are. As soon as she gets back into her room, the house becomes extremely still and suspenseful. I get the sensation of being watched here, do you? Anna does not feel safe at all, peeks under the door, probably half expecting to see shoes on the other side. She doesn't see that, but what she experiences next indeed confirms her suspicions. The fact that she patrols the entire house and hears nothing until the moment she steps back into her room makes me think that someone else is in the house with Anna and her family, something that will patiently wait until everyone's guard is down to strike. What is going on in this neighborhood parking lot? Ben Lewis shared this mysterious security footage to Facebook, which appears to show a semi-transparent child figure watch against the house in the center. A moment later, this happens. Did you see the building's light come on? I agree with many in the comments that say it looks like the child ghost is skateboarding. And apparently, the place is said to be haunted by a child ghost named Emily. So I believe this is an open and shut case. An unidentified aerial phenomena, also known as a UAP, was captured at Dreamland in Dripping Springs, Texas, and shared by Redditor My Brian on Acid. Recording the alien spaceship. It's like not moving at all. The uploader says another source reported on this same sighting. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away. It's not moving at all. The post the Redditor is referring to was captured by someone walking their dog who believed the UAP to be a planet, but once they looked at it through their binoculars, they noticed a dark center and a haze around the object. In the comments, Redditor Cronin Siglos appeared to crack the code, writing that it's a high-altitude balloon called an HBAL-604. After seeing one of these, I have to agree. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away, it's not moving at all. All the more reason to stay out of the forest. Published to YouTube by CJ Fashion in April of 2020. The channel writes, Just when I thought a haunted forest couldn't get any scarier, there was an incident inside the Pokemoke forest with a person. Still not sure exactly what is going on with this place, but I can tell you this, something very weird and sketchy is going on in this forest. Pokemoke Forest is located in Maryland and is said to be haunted. Let's find out just how haunted it is. As the crew gets ready to enter the forest, they see a shadow speed across through the woods, and this is only the beginning. 
they hear something big growling and start to wonder if it could be a bear. As CJ explains, they've been at this site before and he believes his friend Sunny was possessed here. He also notes they're already hearing eerie footsteps all around. They start to explore the forest deeper, hearing noises at all angles. This was As many points out, it's at around 28 minutes in that there appears to be a man standing in the forest next to a tree in the distant darkness. What? CJ says that their eyes are playing tricks on them, but I don't know about that. It's like the Where's Waldo of Ghost Hunts, and Waldo is definitely there. Can you find this unknown thing in the forest? Would you even want to? There's an eerie sound coming from the Golden Gate Bridge that is making people lose their minds. A constant haunting hum that can be heard from miles away. Try to guess what it is. Between the red rails is where the mysterious noise is coming from, and as it turns out, this is from a mistake in a recent redesign of the bridge. The new rails were mistakenly spaced apart just enough to let the wind come screeching through at an unbearable volume. It happened in June of 2020, and as of the time of this video, I was unable to find any evidence that it's been fixed. This haunted nursing home will drum up some fear in you. Published by Sunny Deeds, Sunny and his team first encounter some strange noises on the stairs. It sounds like movements and faint voices. Later, as they're reading about some of the nursing home's former residents, the cameraman scans the reception area and is startled by this large and somewhat creepy photograph. As they're considering whether the cameraman captured something in the door crack, a faint wailing is heard in the background. It could have been, because I was moving at the same time. Although the pair don't seem to hear it in the moment, they later think they hear a spirit and ask it to make the noise again. They hear a small clicking noise repeatedly. They never do find what's making that clicking noise, but I have a feeling it's no longer of this world. A ghost boy, known as a Pukong in Indonesian, was captured on film in this cemetery. Posted by Antarija, a cameraman is wandering a cemetery at night when he turns to spot this figure. The figure is standing wrapped like a mummy. The distorted face is barely discernible, and the cameraman quickly turns and flees into the darkness. He keeps turning back and somehow the figure is closer and closer. Its horrifying face is what nightmares are made of. It's not clear if the thing is chasing him, but it does seem to be on his tail. Did he make it out alive? Or are one of these graves for him? Let's hope not. A team of ghost hunters are using a modified Kinect camera to capture paranormal presence in the historic Houghton Mansion in North Adams, Massachusetts. It was once owned by a wealthy businessman, but has since been converted to a Masonic temple and is believed to be haunted by otherworldly spirits. The person in green is one of the hunters, but listen to what they hear. What was that? Yeah, what was that? that? Was weird. I was walking. No, 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 it was a voice. voice. Yes, that was a girl's voice. It was a girl's voice. Absolutely a girl's voice. Absolutely. 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 You can really hear the voice when you put headphones on. Anyway, I think this video is real because in fake videos, they tend to talk one at a time and not all at once. But in this video, everybody convincingly talks over each other and reacts with genuine surprise. I'd like to hear what you think though. While visiting Old Smoky Mountain Cemetery, YouTube crew the G-Team Paranormal are quickly met with paranormal activity. Straight away, they get a reading on their paranormal device. Right there. Wow. This is incredible. 
and that reading becomes more distinct. Look. Yep. Oh, I see yep. him. Mm -hmm. You see him? I see them. Almost looks like a third person. The spirits seem to be congregating next to their headstones. Someone's standing next to the headstone. Right next to the headstone, it's yes. Leaning on it or something. Although the camera doesn't pick it up clearly, the ladies hear footsteps approaching. She hears footsteps crunching. I hope it ain't a bear coming. Oh, I did. Then, while in their vehicle, the car's reverse sensor is triggered, but there's no one behind them. What? What the heck? I don't know. What is going on? It's sensing something behind us. What the hell? I don't know. There's a mysterious whisper in the darkness here, though. And before they know it, they've picked up a hitchhiking spirit. Made me want to come here. Oh, sh why did all my sh just fall? My sh up here on my visor just kind of flew down. What the hell? Patty even seems to spot one on the road. Oh, whoa, I'm not even going to back up. There was somebody standing back there in a white shirt. I'm not even kidding you. Unless I'm, I can't, I'm not going to back up, guys. I, I can't. I didn't see anything, but something strange is definitely going on here. Whether a spirit has attached or not is anyone's guess. Some souls darken the doorways of haunted homes. Others grow as bright as they lived. Published by Sajid Hussein in August of 2021, this nest cam caught an unusual anomaly on this dark street at night. The video shows a vibrant figure glowing in the yard opposite the camera. The bright figure appears to be moving. It radiates while still for a moment before moving in a flash to a position about a foot away. The light then dims before glowing brightly again. It then enters into the street, glowing and spreading like fire. Throughout this, at times it looks like one entity and at other times two. At the end of the clip, the light subsides and disappears altogether. Where did the spirit go? Maybe this is the moment it crossed over. Hurricane Irma was a Category 5 hurricane that lasted from late August until mid-September in 2017, with hurricane winds of up to 180 miles per hour. Irma devastated several areas, including the eastern United States, Puerto Rico, Cuba, the Bahamas, the Caribbean Islands. Caught on tape and published by Tom Steers on September 15, 2017, the clip shows a downpour of rain and heavy winds over a swimming pool, assumedly on the coast of one of the affected areas. A man in black swimming trunks launches out into the wind and rain with a GoPro in his hand to hop into the hotel swimming pool. The water in the pool is heaving, not to the degree of the Nepali earthquake, but enough to where you certainly wouldn't want to test nature at its angriest. What's this in here? Did he have a in his hand? No, he had a GoPro in his hand. Oh, God! I wish I could zoom this in. I can a little bit. After a quick dip, however, the man pops back out unharmed. Another thrill seeker who could have wound up injured or worse from his thrill seeking. A YouTuber named Adam the Woo is checking out an old abandoned barbecue restaurant in the middle of the California desert and picks up strange occurrences that are possibly supernatural. There are a lot of moments in this video that sound like voices far away, saying words too quietly to understand, like here for example. There's also a lot of electrical disturbances that happen for pretty much no reason. At one point, Adam calls out into what should be an otherwise empty room and gets the faintest of replies. Hello? Listen again and tell me if you hear it. 
A lot of people think that this was a female voice saying hello, but it sounds too far away to tell for sure. Perhaps most unsettling of all, however, is what could be a pair of feet in the stall of this busted out bathroom. Is one of America's greatest presidents still roaming the earth? YouTuber Soul Searching thinks so. She visited President Lincoln's tomb at the Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield, Illinois. The place is said to be haunted. Let's see if it is. Right away, Shannon gets a response to her inquiries. Walk up to me. Oh, I heard a noise. Was that you, Mr. Lincoln? I heard a noise. When she asks the spirit to knock, Can you knock on this? There we go. It answers a moment later. Unless there's construction going on inside the tomb, I don't know what would explain the knocking in response. My thoughts are that Lincoln's spirit remains here. Published in October of 2011, the YouTuber wrote in the video description, I found where the creature has been hiding, along with my dead cat. What creature? While well, searching his property, the original uploader found a sewer or a drainage pipe, which is where the video begins. As he's walking towards the drain, he only brought his camera and a knife. What does he need a knife for? We'll soon find out. He enters the tunnel, and you can't see much inside apart from his bright headlights on the walls. But then again, as the light shines ahead deeper into the tunnel, he seems to catch a brief glimpse of a creature standing there. Two bright eyes gleaming in the darkness, he races out of the tunnel. He explains that his camera died as he was hurrying home, the sewer being a quarter mile deep in the forest. For some reason, he decides to head back the next day to explore the tunnel again in the hopes of capturing the creature face to face. This time he enters the tunnel through the opposite side, where the stream is coming out. Inside, he finds the skull of his cat. He also finds what he believes to be the creature's nest. That's my cat. That's my cat. I think I just found this place's nest. So what do you think? Is this creature indeed alien or some other known life form? Unless we know what sewer this YouTuber is exploring, we cannot move forward with verifying if this footage is legitimate. Are you a social media influencer? The next time you're off in your own world filming your next Twitter phenom, don't look over your shoulder. Posted to YouTube by BTS in May of 2019, this video will haunt you. The Twitter video begins like any other there, with its star checking himself out in the camera, before taking some film of the passing city scene outside his car window. Looks just like a normal everyday video to brighten everyone's Twitter feed. But as many YouTubers pointed out in the comments of this video, some random shadow appears behind the star's left shoulder. What is this creeping shadow lingering just behind him? Is it something paranormal, or just a ghostly fan watching him? Judge for yourself. Either way, it's 100% frightening. Real Victoria is woken up by her cat hissing at something it sees in the bedroom window. The cat goes quiet when she starts recording, but it's definitely focused on some activity outside. She says this creepy looking character was looking in through her window, and he very well may have been, but at 4 seconds he also seems to be looking up and trying to get the attention of someone in the room above him. In fact, I think I hear him shout something and whistle loudly at the beginning of this video. What is he saying here? Eventually, he steps away and out of sight. I guess he either saw the camera, or he finally got the attention of someone in the unit above. Whatever he was up to, having a complete stranger anywhere near where you live at 5 in the morning is oddly terrifying. With that said, I do believe her, and I hope Real Victoria stays safe until her lease is up and she can get out of there. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Eric waits until 3 a.m. to communicate with the other side at a cemetery in Japan. He sets up the spirit box and waits to be contacted. 
They soon sense the presence of a lonely ghost and a single word comes across their equipment. Apparently, the spirit understands its surrounding and knows exactly where it is. Japan. Japan. It's the Japan. It's the Japan. The spirit box continues to chirp out static until the waves clear and this phrase comes out. What they're jealous of, I'm guessing, is the fact that Eric is still alive. They probably should leave by now. But curiosity compels them to stay put until the camera goes out of focus, almost like somebody is very near, maybe even in front of them. And I'm not sure, but I think I hear the name Eric spoken in a thick Japanese accent. <laughs> More spirits seem to find Eric, and by the end of the video, an invisible congregation has formed all around him, and he finds himself is surrounded by hushed threats and whispers of regret. I think this voice is real, because the spirit box only gets a little bit of activity at first, and finishes with a chorus of voices. UBA is a rapper from Mexico with a fairly popular YouTube channel. Recently, he admitted to the police that he has been working for the New Generation Cartel, which is basically the Mexican Mafia. He has taken at least three people's lives and even dissolved them in vats of acid. Now police are working hard analyzing his music videos to determine if he has ever confessed to anything else in one of his songs. After all, anyone in the video could be an accomplice, and every lyric or camera shot could be another potential piece of evidence. I watched a lot of his videos for more clues, and the only thing I noticed was how one setting in particular would repeatedly come up. It's always this small wooded area that's by some train tracks. It could just be my imagination, but I can't help but wonder if maybe a fourth body would be found here if police were able to do some investigating in this area. This video, taken in Lottie, Florida, shows two mysterious government vehicles sticking close together as they head to an undisclosed location. No identifying information is written on the side of the trucks. The first truck has red and blue lights on the top, but the one behind it doesn't have any markings at all and could easily be mistaken for a civilian vehicle to the untrained eye. Both trucks are covered in thick armor, and each one has enough room in the back to serve as a mobile command station of some kind, though for what purpose I can't say. People in the comments section of this video are suggesting everything from hazardous waste cleanup to mind control operations. One of the more convincing comments states that these trucks only are seen when a serious threat to national security is detected, like a nuclear device or worse. Again, I don't know what these vehicles are for, but if I saw one in my neighborhood, I would be worried, let alone seeing two. Two fishermen cast their reels into the Gulf of Mexico without a care in the world. 20 minutes later, they only have one care in the world, getting out alive. <laughs> The pair finds themselves caught in the middle of a giant storm system gathering overhead. Going backwards means traveling in the same direction as the storm, so the only thing left to do is charge deeper into the storm and hope to come out the other side in one piece. The storm hasn't even begun yet, and you can see the waves are almost coming into the boat already. They need to hurry if they ever want to see dry land again. The storm gets worse and worse until they can barely tell the sky apart from the sea. Everything is just a big swirling mass of grey with absolutely no visibility, except for the occasional crack of lightning to illuminate their path for a few precious seconds at a time. If things get any worse, their tiny boat will surely capsize under the crushing waves. Finally, after an hour of riding, they emerge from the traveling storm and return to blue skies. You can tell that they are truly safe because they can stand fully upright again. Abdullah al Anbari is followed by what he describes as a ghoul when he explores an old neighborhood that was abandoned long ago. His stalker appears to be a silhouette, even under a high-powered light that brightens everything around it. Bismillah. It could be someone wearing long flowing robes, or it could be a shadow person. Maybe it's just me, but the ghoul looks much bigger here at 5 minutes and 54 seconds when he sees it again. When it pokes around the corner at 8 minutes and 3 seconds, it seems much larger than the average sized person. 
Even from down this long hill, you can see this figure is indeed tall and strong looking too, as it lumbers ahead. It looks like the creature is going to follow him all the way home, if he lets it. So Abdullah recites a phrase, at which point the ghoul recoils from the sacred words, or perhaps more realistically, ducks under the window and is not seen again. <laughs> Was this all planned, or did a phantom really spontaneously follow him? A student is doing some schoolwork on his computer. When somebody comes in and starts recording, they have a short conversation that's interrupted by a large figure standing in the darkened doorway behind them. The creature's head almost touches the ceiling, and its arms are so gigantic and long that they don't even fully fit in the camera frame. Its arms look long enough to pluck them from the couch and drag them to their doom. Fortunately for them, the two friends get away just in time and take off. They glance back for a moment only to find Slenderman silently regarding them from the top of the stairs. Now that you've seen this on video, I'm eager to hear if you think this was a real Slenderman sighting or just someone in a really good costume. This CCTV video captures a large figure lurking beneath a bush on an empty street. It's hard to tell what it is at first, until the camera zooms in for a better look. Some kind of humanoid is low to the ground, as if waiting to grab someone, anyone who walks by. It looks like it could be a person, until it dips its head from the shadows at 1 minute and 58 seconds to reveal an upsettingly long face with large, gnashing jaws. The way it repeatedly moves side to side looks like it's probably just a looping animated sequence. But what's your take? YouTuber Own Vlogs stayed in this haunted hotel for 24 hours and they didn't get a wink of sleep. It all began with the closest doors. <laughs> They slam closed but then open again. They open wide enough to reveal that there's no one inside. Later, they believe something is in the bathroom. Watch for the shadow in the corner. While well, the YouTuber thinks that this is a shadow person, I think it could belong to him. Watch it again. Could it just be the way this light falls in the bathroom? Share your opinion in the comments. When you explore abandoned places, sometimes you're not alone. YouTuber Christian Harbin posted this video in March of 2018 writing, this creepy abandoned house ended up giving us more than we expected. When I heard those footsteps, my heart skipped like four beats. Whose footsteps did they hear? Watch and see. When they first approach this creepy house, they find a Ken doll posted up on the mailbox. They wander around outside for a bit before entering through the front door, which is absent of a doorknob. The place looks like it's been stripped, perhaps being prepared for demolition. After they explore the house a bit, they enter the garage, which still has an elliptical inside, but the stranger thing is the attic door is open, with the wooden staircase leading down to the garage floor. When one of them loses to rock, paper, scissors, he must climb those stairs to the attic and see what or who is up there. They decide to enter a door beyond the attic on the ground floor first, but before they can, they hear the footsteps. They're coming from the attic. The pair say this is the first time they've heard something creepy in the abandoned places they explore, but they didn't wait around long enough to see who is making the noise. Most in the comments believe it was probably a person. Others thought it might be an animal. But YouTuber Deanna Ann offered up the creepiest guess. 
Someone's nailed by their feet up there like the Ken doll. Makes you hope it's anything but that. If you saw this on the horizon, you may think some serious stuff is going down. Post it to the very spooky video subreddit by RavenTexX. The Redditor writes, Is this recent? Looks real. The footage shows a dark and stormy scene with heavy clouds on the horizon and in their midst a blinding beam of light. The light brightens and recedes more, but stays in the sky for quite some time before zapping out, leaving the night in total and utter darkness. While life forms outside of this planet could very well exist, some Redditors have other explanations. Greg the Chief writes, It could be a Transformer. I worked as an electrician the past few years. I never saw something that size, but electric energy has more power than most people think. Since I'm not an electrician, I wouldn't know for sure, but that sounds like a pretty rational explanation. A British family seems to be haunted by a spirit they call Freddy. Unlike most other families with a lingering paranormal problem, they seem to have gotten used to being haunted for the most part and largely ignore Freddy, laugh at him, or otherwise treat him as if he's a bratty child. It's an unusual technique that's made for some interesting videos from 2017 to 2018. Come on, Freddy. I know we call you Freddy, but we don't know what to call you yet. But we like it. I guess this ghost simply doesn't like to be addressed by the wrong name because nothing touches the can and yet it makes a noise and goes flying. They never do call it Freddy again after this, at least not to its face. I don't see how this is faked because I don't see a string. In fact, I don't see a string in any of their videos, like this one for example. No string shows against the dark window as this phone lifts up and slams back down only when she tries to say hello. Don't touch her. You don't have to touch her. Hello. And later they turn the light on just to prove that it's not fake. Come on. Put the light on. Put the light on. <gasps> Look, the light is on. You can clearly see there is no fishing wire or strings. If this isn't a ghost, then tell me how it's being done because I really don't know. It's just hovering. Look at that. Most of the activity seems to be happening in this living room. When they are all in the kitchen, stuff in the room always seems to move, almost like Freddy is trying to get them to come over here. Aside from the phone, this dog picture seems to be its next favorite object to animate and suspend in midair. You'll be alright. Oh, yeah. I'm not lying. The is levitating. I can't. I suppose somebody could have been standing on a ladder off camera and using a string for the last video, but I don't see it. And there are other videos like this one where they show the full room and look at that flashing red light. It looks like the ghost may have left them a voice message, which they unfortunately don't play. I would have really liked to have heard Freddy's real voice. Here they are on a different day standing all the way on the other side of the house and here the picture is bobbing up and down all on its own while the curtains move about on their own. The windows are up so it's not somebody running a wire from outside. There's just no easy explanation for this one. Then to make matters even more confusing, the picture simply drops on its own as if the ghost is done playing with it. When the mother goes to pick it up, the overhead lamp starts swinging all on its own. Swinging lights are another tactic Freddy uses to try and drive them mad. It is one of the things that seems to honestly annoy the mother and that's probably why Freddy is always doing it so often. First, it swings back and forth, and then when that fails to get a reaction from them, it starts to move in small, nauseating circles. Before you say that the camera person must be pulling on it with a string, consider that there is clearly no string to be seen, and that the light over the living room, where no one is standing, mind you, is doing the exact same thing. Plus, I really don't think they'd risk breaking the lamp by swinging it this hard themselves, and the more they ignore it, the harder the lights swing. Freddy gets so upset that he figures out how to express his anger in a new way. The door, the door, the door, the door. Look oh, at that. Man. The door's never done that, ever. Wow. Nobody touches the door at all. Nobody is anywhere near that part of the house. 
At 49 seconds is when you should be able to see a string connected to the door, but even at half speed and zoomed in, no string is to be found. It's truly closing by itself. And in this window where objects are always moving, stands the outline of Freddy. Some videos seem much more easy to explain than others. Somebody could be shaking the table from underneath. Okay. Well, the table's moving. <laughs> Alright, stop that now. Look at the cat, look at the cat. I know. While other videos seem unexplainable even years later, I would have liked to have seen the other side of this picture to see if they were using high powered magnets, but I guess we'll never get the chance. I find it interesting that Freddy seems to be confined to the kitchen and living room areas. Something bad must have happened here to confine it to these areas of the house. Perhaps its anger will one day allow it to explore the rest of the home. In the meantime, they don't know what it is or what it's trying to tell them, and they don't really seem to care. And their indifference only seems to make Freddy grow more determined to grow stronger and show them his true form. William Sloan has no idea what to make of this paranormal evidence and is asking for help from experts because he admits he doesn't know much about the other side. He was playing with a Ouija board when he made contact with a ghost who calls itself James. William must have forgotten to properly end the ceremony because ever since then, scary stuff like this happens way too often around his now haunted home. Just rock it a little bit, just a little bit. Obviously, there's no one behind it or near it except for him, but the lighting is a little low, so maybe he was pulling on a piece of string to make it look like a ghost is moving the chair. Weeks later, William tries his best to harness some type of relationship with the spirit train it if you will. One of the paranormal experiments is called the candle trick and it involves trying to get James to move the candle around. One more time. <laughs> Most objects when pulled with a string will glide over the smooth surface of a table. This sounds different, like it's being pushed down into the table with some amount of friction. William also claims to have been trying to get James to blow the candle out, but I guess that hasn't been caught on video yet. If you're still not sure what to make of this, you're not alone. Sometimes William himself has doubts, but whenever he does, it seems like the ghost has more scary moments to show. I don't know. Just a little bit. I'm not convinced. Even assuming the sliding glass door was open, the timing of the wind gust is undeniable. Much like the candle, William says he's not convinced and then James convinces him. Holy. Oh. William has saved the best paranormal evidence for last. This time he gives James a new object, a bell. He doesn't believe in modern ghost hunting equipment and believes a simpler approach will yield the best results. He rings the bell a few times to show James that it works and then invites him to do the same. You do that. Just give me one good ring if you're there. You see that? Is that happening? Since William asked for help, I'll give my overall analysis. I think videos like this are hard to fake. I've seen a lot of them and this is probably the most convincing because I don't know how he could be faking ghost movement from that close. In other words, the bizarre activity is probably real. Imagine you saw a flicker of something out of the corner of your eye and that something turned out to be a scary encounter that would haunt your dreams. YouTuber All Around Lifestyle published this video in May of 2016 explaining, we just got done exploring a huge abandoned car park and as we were leaving, I spotted something yellow laying on the ground. But when he told his friends he'd seen something, they were doubtful. He started going down again, he wrote, and this time someone or something started shouting at us. Got 
What was this someone or something? A potentially crazy person who started screaming at the boys. A sound you wouldn't expect to hear coming out of a human being. And like they said, they hightailed it out of there. Frightened, they raced to the roof of the building as fast as they could. Thankfully, no one was harmed in the making of this video. When unexplained shadows fall, your only recourse is to search for an answer. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Sammy Sam 1870 writes, It was 2.06 a.m. and there was no one walking around, nor were there any cars in sight when this mysterious shadow strolled across my security camera. The following day, I tried to figure out where it could have came from, but found no explanation. The security camera footage shows a black shadow cast upon the ground, moving across the screen. As the Redditor explains, nothing visible in the area is casting the shadow. So do we have a shadow figure on our hands, or is this just a bug caught at a weird angle? Cat videos can only be this creepy when they're from Russia. They leave the cat on the bed and go into the living room, which they think is haunted, and put down the camera. Caught on tape is some strange activity, perhaps paranormal, or really weird things to say the least. One of them is behind the chair moving things. I'm sure some will say, I thought the same thing, but when I first showed them walking into the room at one minute and two seconds, you and I both get a glimpse under the chair. Nothing is there. Did they crawl under the camera after they put it down? Or is something supernatural haunting the house like they claim? A man is holding very still with his arm out at an odd angle. That's because he doesn't want to attract the wrath of this dangerous little fellow who somehow slithered into a scary situation. He is helpless as his friend carefully pinches his sleeve to determine where the snake is. He makes a cutting motion with his free hand to tell his friend what to do, not wanting to alert the snake with the vibrations of his voice. Once they carefully cut away the sleeve, you you can see the snake is curled around his right bicep and in no hurry to leave. The mouth is right by his arm and it would take less than a second to strike with fangs. They wisely pull open the sleeve with the scissors to distract the snake and get its head away from his arm, but there's not enough room so they need to cut more. By now, the snake is getting upset, so with no time left, they reach in and scoop him out. I guess they could have done that the whole time, but it was much too risky to be a first option. Take a look at its markings and tell me what kind of snake this is. I'm guessing by the way they handle it with such extreme caution that it has to be venomous. This video was taken in a public housing development on Jurong Road in Singapore. Audrey Antony claims he's been experiencing strange supernatural occurrences on his property and decides to set up a CCTV system. He's both amazed and terrified when one of his cameras actually verifies his story. A small white object darts down the hall with enough force to wrestle some clothing. A slowed down version of the video reveals a vaguely childlike figure about the size of a toddler. It could just be video editing, but let me know if you see it and what you think it is. This footage comes from the Lincoln County Courthouse in Charlotte, North Carolina. Deputies are watching the security monitors after hours when they spot a woman standing alone in an empty room. They rush into the nearby location to see what she is up to and if she needs help. Not only is the woman still there, but she is totally transparent and they are able to walk straight through her. When the local news channel comes to investigate, they see the same ghost again, this time in the cashier's office. Plane. While shooting today, we saw it again in color in the middle of the screen just over Barbara Jones' shoulder. Both times, the ghostly woman appears to be jotting something down in a notepad. Some people are suggesting that she could just be a reflection, but the news team could find nothing capable of replicating the highly detailed shape of a woman. If this really is a spirit, then who knows why she is here? 
or what supernatural secrets her notepad holds. This video was recovered from a cell phone left behind by a hotel guest who is in an extra hurry to leave for some reason. He's taking a random video when some chilling moments are caught in his hotel room. A dark shadow passes in front of him without a sound. The way he was talking out loud to himself makes it sound like he was talking to himself when the mysterious figure makes him gasp out loud and drop the phone. This situation wouldn't be too hard to fake. All you'd need is someone to walk in front of you and act scared, so it might not be real. But if this footage was really found by the next guest, like the description claims, then that's beyond creepy. These friends are staying at a hotel when they see flashing lights coming from the bathroom mirror and hear rumbling noises on the other side. It sounds like a classic haunted hotel setting at first, but when they take the bathroom mirror and flip it around, they see two holes that look to me like someone was spying on them. Scratches here and here that you can see directly through the mirror. Directly through. But this situation gets way more intense than just a peephole. Much to their surprise and horror, there was also a rectangular hole cut into the wall leading directly into the next room over. Whoever cut this hole could literally climb through the wall anytime they wanted to, day or night. They could silently watch the group in the mirror to know when they were leaving, then climb through to mess with their stuff. Or worse still, they would know when you were about to go to bed and could enter while they were all asleep to do who knows what. I don't know how any of this ended, but I do know their lives could have been at risk if they didn't discover this in time. I think this situation is real because I don't think they would destroy a hotel wall just to make a video. Hopefully they called the police and caught whoever invaded their privacy. ...exist on this earth. Just like anything, they are birthed, shared by YouTube channel Cold TV, and originally published by Life of Luxury. This video is trending in the Vietnamese-speaking YouTube community. The story begins with the Life of Luxury team arriving at a home where something evil is suspected of happening. As a welcome, they're served up some unappetizing cookies. Can you please sit down now? I'm guessing they aren't welcome after all. When they go to sleep that night, a security camera captures this unsettling footage in Gloria's room. Gloria disappears, but then reappears, behaving very strangely. She's now wandering around, serving up this nightmare fuel. <laughs> now she's literally crawling up the walls. How can they sleep through this? I have no idea. They're finally awoken and things get 10 times more terrifying. They go looking for her, and what they find is chilling. She delivers the baby. That's most definitely a demon. <laughs> they follow the demon entity. What is it? Follow it. Okay. Look. The one in there. All right. Later, the patient returns. What are they doing? I 
I've never been more grateful that this video is fictional. Nevertheless, this is pure terror, and I think it's going to give me nightmares for- Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.